129. That is absolutely spectacular for Colin Osborne. Remarkable for Robert Thornton. Game wow. shot in the first leg. What a leg that is. 12 start. The only unbeaten player. Game shot in the second leg. This is Game really territory. Does he want to go for the double 19? Game of course he shot. did. To get more relaxed. Game oh, oh, oh boy. Double 18 for a shot monstrous 147. Bradley, Bradley Brooks. And indeed, the action culminates here. Very good morning. Welcome along to the live lounge here in Portsmouth for the Motor Super Series and the final day of action here in Group A, where it is a four-horse race towards the finishing line. And on Grand National Week, we'll see who is going to get to the victory post first. Alongside me, talking about the darts and not the horses, is Scotty Dog Mitchell. Scott, what an interesting final day we have here. Yeah, we really do. And uh, it all closed up towards the end of yesterday. Uh, usually known as moving day, but it was actually squeezing day yesterday as the lower players caught the top players. And now we've got four with, with a great chance of being crowned Group A champion. Yeah, it really is an intriguing race towards the line. Four players separated by just two points at the top of the Group A table. It's Victor Tingshun that leads the way going into the final day, but leading the way only because of his head-to-head -head record against Corny Grunewald, both from 14 points, both level in terms of legs difference, both level in terms of legs one, and then any mistake from then, Conan Whitehead and Colin Osborne can open up the door. Yeah, absolutely. Colin Osborne has a big chance of going straight up onto 14 points. He plays Kieran Smith first up. So a big game for Colin, and uh, he knows he has to convert so that he puts the pressure down on the top two from the get-go. Well, Dick to Teenstrom tops the pile going into the final day's worth of action. And he's been ultra consistent, ultra reliable all week long. And when there's been a question asked of him, he's answered it emphatically. He has. And, and he keeps coming back from like 2 0 down and every 2 1 down. It doesn't seem to fluster him. He really is sort of developing into a, a really tough opponent. And the other thing is that when he's been beaten this week, somebody's had to go and beat them. He hasn't given the games away. He hasn't missed doubles and let it ride. They've had to go and outplay him. And OK, that's happened a couple of times this week, but his consistency is so good, and that's what's making him very difficult to beat. Colin Osborne didn't have a first day to remember. As far as yesterday was concerned, it was word perfect. Five wins from five, and he now really puts himself in the mix. Yeah, he did. He started with a really good game yesterday, and the momentum just kept going with him for the rest of the day. And you thought, is he going to get tired? He's one of the older guys. He didn't. He just went through the card and... He knew that he had to do that to put himself in a, in a, with a chance of, of topping the group. So Osborne puts himself in the mix, a couple of points off the top of the table, same as the former champion, Conan Whitehead. But that last win of the day for Colin yesterday puts him on 99 wins. He could make it a century of victories here at the Super Series with any win that he gets today. And in matter of fact, himself, Robert Thornton and Conan Whitehead, they're kind of in a mini battle between themselves to see who gets to a century first. We spoke about the experience of this group in terms of the players like Osborne, Thornton and Whitehead. For Colin Osborne to get to 100 wins would be quite the feat. Same for Robert Thornton as well. Well, absolutely. And, and it's, a, it's a milestone win mark for them. And, and if you'd asked them back at the start, would they ever make 100 wins here? They'd have probably never said yes. So it's one of those milestones that they're pr proud to achieve. And uh, probably looks like Colin's going to make it first. So let's have a look and see what the bookies think about today's proceedings. Robert Fulton still has a mathematical chance of qualification, but we sense it's going to be very unlikely that he does qualify. Victor Tingston goes off the favour at 13 to 8, but we were having a look at Conan White at 10 to 3 this morning and thought he's the type of player, a bit like Colin yesterday, that has more than a capability of completing the card. Yeah, Conan had a, had a really strange day the first day. He did all the averages. And everybody else just stepped up against him. He was a little unlucky. Yesterday, we saw a little bit more fire in the belly from Conan, and he started to turn games around and win games. Today, he's more than capable of going through the card of five out of five. And that would mean he would be beating those guys above him and putting himself in the mix. I feel he's going to have to do that if he's going to top Group A. But, uh, yeah, you wouldn't bet against it the way he's been playing the last two days. It's 18 plus. Be gambleaware.org if you're going to have a flutter 
on the Super Series today. Right, let's get into our first game of the session. It sees Colin Osborne in action, looking for that century of wins here at the live lounge in Portsmouth. His first assignment is Kieran Smith, looking to get his first win under the lights here on the South Coast. And earlier on this morning, I caught up with the Borough man to get his assessment of the week so far and that race to the century. Colin, good day for yourself yesterday. Completed the cards. Complete difference from day one to day two, it felt. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, like you say, I mean, we come down Monday, you know, probably a bit tight and tense, you know. But obviously yesterday, I just let the shackles off and, uh, yeah, played some decent stuff. What do you think was the biggest difference for yourself yesterday? Uh, I, I played with a lot more rhythm yesterday. Like you say, I was a bit stopped and start on Monday, H, but, uh, like you say, I, I found a bit of rhythm. You know, I hit a few doubles, took a few ton pluses out. And, yeah, five out of five. And how important will those wins against Victor and Corney be? Because it feels like those are the wins that have put you in contention to win the group. Uh, it, it's the massive, you know, them, the two lads there were top of the table, you know, going in yesterday. And it's nice to get one over them. Like you say, it's hard to play for now. You know, it's quite tight at the top, so we'll see what happens. You're a very experienced campaigner when it comes to the Super Series. How much could that be a help on a day like today? Oh, massively. You know, there's a couple of lads in there to their first time. You know, we've, we, we've been here that much, myself, Rob and Co., you know, so now, like you say, we'll go into the day again, prepared the same, you know, and uh, see what happens. I don't know if you're aware of this, but you're on 99 wins here at the Super Series. So any win today, you would break the century mark. What sort of feat and what sort of achievement would that be for yourself? Oh, it'd be massive, you know, I mean, but uh, as we speak, that comes, you know, that's that, that second, you know, I'm, I'm just going to take each game as it comes. And if, if I win, then I get that 100, then, you know, then great, you know, so I'll be uh, all guns blazing today. Well, I look forward to watching you play today, as ever. Colin, all the very best. Cheers, Ed. Thank you. Well, the live lounge in Portsmouth, the destination for the Moda Super Series and a place where Colin Osborne could make a little bit of history in. A win, any win today, will be enough for him to claim a century of victories in this competition. And his first assignment is Kieran Smith, who is looking to get his first win at the Live lounge in Portsmouth. Osborne, 48 years of age from Middlesbrough, seven time a PDC event winner and, of course, a former runner up here at Champions Week, losing absolute littler in Series 4. As far as Kieran Smith is concerned, the 27 year old from Gloucestershire, runner up at the Scottish Open back in 2024. Last uh, 16 of the British Open in 2023. He'll be hoping to show some of those signs and skills on show today ahead of an assault of what will be Group C on Thursday and Friday, respectively. This is game one of 15 that we're going to be watching today from the live lounge in Portsmouth. Each leg. and every it's single Colin's dart will first. be officiated by Jack game Garwood on. and alongside myself, Henry Deacon, in the commentary box for all of the action. It's a very good morning once again to the former champion of the world, Scott Mitchell. Yeah, good morning, Henry. I'm really looking forward to a big conclusion of this group. 60. A on day three, it uh, it could be a mouth-watering thing that goes right to the wire today. They're all raving 39. about a three-horse race in the Premier League football. Well, we've got a four-horse race here in Group A on the Super Series. Who needs a Super Sunday? 96. We've got a Super Wednesday. Well, for somebody, it will be a winning Wednesday. And it will afford them a 100. couple of days off before an assault on Saturday night here at the Live Lounge in Portsmouth. Colin Osborne has been here so many times before. Matter of fact, it's his ninth appearance at the Super Series. His record is a fairly stupendous one. However, 58. he's on a little bit of a drought as far as qualifications through to Saturday night is concerned. His last Saturday assault was at Champions 100. Week in Series 4. He's failed to qualify Series 5 or 6 towards the latter end of a Saturday night campaign. 108. As Kira Smith piles in his first max of the day. 105 for Osborne. Tots were turned top at the kickstart of the day. Gates perfectly the pinned leg. by the Wizard, who takes the lead by a leg to nil. Yeah, nicely done there by Osborne. Second leg, it's Kieran to throw Adds first. That's that to his other ton toppers Game of the on. week. He's at a 115, a 109, a 101, and a 106. So he adds a 105 to that. And 
I was part of that combination. When he seems to have tops left, he just absolutely believes in himself and nine times out of ten nails it. 97. Hasn't returned to a Saturday night since losing the Champions Week final two. Luke Littler missed out on the Saturday night in both Series 5 and Series 6. If you're going to lose out to anybody, that was a good one to lose out to. He's on every promo clip we've got, isn't he? It's on the front of Forbes magazine these days. Mr. Littler is, yes, I saw that. Although 59. the last series, he was placed into a bit of a toy group. These are the players who made it through to the Saturday night. Chris Lamb and Ron Mullenkamp, Daryl Pilgrim, Paul Hogan, David Davies and 54. Robert Thornton. Conan Whitehead was also involved in that particular week as well. He missed out on the Saturday night, as did a certain Glenn Durrant. I remember 100. him. Yeah, he was a good player a few years ago, wasn't he? Won a couple of lakesides. Oh, is that all? A couple? I think it was three, I think. 96. Told me he won the Premier League once as well. Yeah, yeah. He's a great guy. Good lad. Yeah, tough week for him to be in that one. I thought that at the time. They're all tough weeks here. Everybody qualifies through one reason or another. 59. Colin, and even the invites 65. are for a reason. So always a tough, tough field here. Tots of Osborne for 14 darts. Averaging 103.66 at what could be the halfway point of the match. And I tell you what, it'd be quite the achievement if he could Third pick up his 100 victory first. here with a ton plus average. Game on. Poor old Kieran Smith here. He just keeps walking into them, doesn't he? Feels that he's playing all right. And then the next thing you know, a nice little ton topper. A bread and butter finish. 85. 65. And once again, he's tearing two zip in the face. 46. Change. Right, yeah, I was going to just about to say the same. He's changed his flights again to a bit of a longer stem and everything this... This time round again. He did it once in the week, I think. Maybe 96. first game yesterday. And then sw or last game the night before and then swap straight back. 60. I was speaking to Colin this morning in that interview and you could just get the sense that it was all business. 60. Very jovial character is. Colin, but today there was a real razor-like focus from him, knowing that he's put himself in the equation. 85. And if he can get through to say it automatically from Group A, it's been a real good week's worth of work, especially after the way Monday panned out, where he just had the solitary win to his name. 140. One hundred. Colin, you require one hundred and twenty. So no chance of another combination finish for Osborne. Not now. He's drifted. He's tidied up nicely. Forty eight left. Eight or a sixteen, I'd have thought. I'd go eight the way he's been hitting 80. tops. Yeah, absolutely. But he has it on a string, doesn't he? That was what you were saying yesterday, and it's been case in point again to Day and this morning. 56. Colin, you require 40. For free, no lead. Double 10. That's the first dice missed at a double in this game. Game shot on the third and that second one missed Colin by a little four. bit further than he anticipated because we saw the raised eyebrows from him there. But he uh, adjusted nicely. Flag. It's Kieran to throw first. Game on. And so Osborne leads by three legs to nil. He's a leg away from that 100th win here at the Super Series. Thornton can also do it today if he wins a couple of matches. 98. Whitehead can do likewise with four victories today. 100. Well, Osborne will be feeling he's doing his job here. He would have looked at that table this morning and thought, I can get there with those top guys now. I can get there. Kieran, Kieran's been struggling all week. 
As long as 19. I can get going here nice and early. And he did with that lovely 105 shot and got his, got his momentum moving quickly. One hundred. One hundred. Yeah, tad unlucky for more there from Kieran Smith. One hundred and thirty one. Couldn't do it with a fish, could he? May have to do it with a fish. Because Smith has left something very handy. Colin, you and this is for a milestone moment for Colin Osborne. But he's not going to take out the 170. 46. Kieran, you require 74. This is to keep himself in the contest. He's going to get a dart at tops. Pins the top, brings flag, it back to Kieran 3 1. Smith. And now Osborne throws for it. Fifth flag, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. We've not doubted Kieran Smith's ability all week. It's been the situations that he's found himself in. He hasn't been able to dig himself out of them. And we said the longer they go on, the harder it is to dig your way out. And the doubles 97. become more difficult. They go the width of a cigarette paper rather than when you're playing well, they're the width of a barn door. 100. What's the best facets about Colin Osborne's game as he approaches this milestone? 140. But nothing really phase him. And, and if, you do, if you do get him, he'll tell you afterwards, you know, you were too good for me there. He's just an all-round nice guy. That's what it is. And he's got 41. loads of experience in, under his belt. And he's seen every scenario. So. 140. One hundred. Kieran, you require 124. One, two, four to stay in the match. Not to be this time. So Osborne is now going to have his moment. His moment in the sunshine. His moment in the spotlight. 44. His milestone moment, potentially. To bring up the century. A dart at tops. It's a ton up for the, the Wizards Colin as Colin Osborne completes a century of victories here at the Moda Super Series. A milestone moment for the Wizards, who's been a real big player here at the Live Lounge over the last two years. He can raise his bat, he can raise his darts a lot, but now it is all about completing the job later on in the day. A 4-1 victory for Colin Osborne with a 96 and a half average. Fourth and six on the doubles. Two ton plus checkouts en route towards that ton topping victory for him against Kieran Smith, who is still searching for his first. Coming up after the break, Conan Whitehead takes on Corny Gruneveld. Gruneveld starts on 14, Whitehead on 12. A win for the Barbarian and the top four cannot be separated.
Well, you join us back here at the Super Series. And our last match before the break, we saw Colin Osborne win his 100th match here in the live lounge against Kieran Smith and topping it off with a 120 shot out. But our next game is Conan Whitehead versus Corne Groneveld. Now, this one has significance in the table. And if Whitehead can win this game, he will go level at the top on 14 points with Groneveld. So... But Groneveld, should he win it, he will be able to get a two-point jump on the others and send himself back at the top. The Head-to-heads on these two, well, Groneveld has beaten Whitehead both times so far this week. But in this situation, Whitehead has the darts, and that's always an advantage. So where's it all going to go? Well, we'll see. I'm joined by Henry Deacon here, my co-commentator, and I'm sure he's going to help me out a little bit of where this is going. Well, it's an intriguing day for Gronovell where he just carried on where he left off from day one for Whitehead. There was, even though numerically there was first a little bit of a downturn in form first. in terms of points, there was a big adage. Yesterday, average 86.69 for the day. 35% on the doubles was the Barbarian. As for Gronovell, well, he inclined from day one to day two. 44. Daily average of 88.72. And on the doubles, in excess of 41%. And that's impressive 85. by any stretch of the imagination. I think most dart players are happy with around the 33% mark. That means if you're going to the board with three darts in your hand, you're hitting a double with one. And that's 92. what you want when you get to the end of the end of the game. If you've got three darts in your hand at double top, 10s, 18s, 41% means you're doing it better than every... Every third dart, so that's what every player wants to see. Uh, Colin Osborne got his 100th win in his 172nd match here at the Super Series. Now, I'm going to bring 85. back an old favourite of the Super Series, the Tungsten Teaser. One hundred. Colin Osborne is the sixth player to make it on to 100 wins at the Super Series. I've got the list of the other five. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, between now and Colin Osborne's 100. next game, which is in game five against Robert Thornton, who could also be on 100 wins if he wins both his opening matches, including that one against Osborne, who the other five players 83. are. Get in touch with us via our social media feeds. It's at MSS Darts on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and via the YouTube chat room. And if you haven't got access to the YouTube chat room, it's because you haven't subscribed. So click that subscription button to get in touch with the chat room. Gronneveld here looking at 93 for 93. the break of throw in the opening leg. Fifty-three Doesn't go. And so Can Whitehead is going to return for the 156 to take out the opening leg. It's not going to go. And so Gronneveld returns for top 60. for the break. Corny and a 1-0 lead. 40. 40. It's been so sorry when it's come to the finishing. But it's no let score. him down there. And Corny it's opened up the door 96. for Whitehead to come back for a seventh visit on throw. Double-double. Doesn't go. He Corny does like a double-double. And I'm sure now that all the guys in middle harness at his darts club and team where he plays. I mean, wanting this to go in. It's a nervy start, but he Corner nails it with the about. last dart, and that's going to settle him down nicely. Second leg. It's Corne to throw first. Game on. It is amazing how players, when not under the duress of having to hit, can miss double after double. But then once they've 96. had a scare, like Whitehead missing the tops on the back of the double-double, they just suddenly switch on. 140. Yeah, Conan's still experimenting a little bit with his 50 millimeter points. He's extended the points on his darts this week. And he says he scores one, more 180s with him, and I've I've got him down for 21 here. So 55. in two days, that's a nice tally to have. So the proof is in the pudding. He obviously does hit more 180s with them. However, the big issue for Kona is when that first dart 94. goes low. That's why he's moved across to the 18s there. If it goes above or sits perfectly at the top of the, 
treble bed. Well, it, what it does, it lengthens the dart. So obviously your barrel's one. further away from the face of the board. But it also sends your stem and your flight further back as well. So 97. Conan's not six foot seven like a Jimmy Van Ski and can jump over the top of that one that's underneath the treble 20. He has to move. 41. And, uh, or he blasts his way through with the power that he uses, he throws with. But that's a lovely, lovely sit. Oh, and he loves the bullseye as well. 124. <laughs> Even making our referee, Jack, have a little smile to himself there as he just checked that that wasn't in the bullseye. 43. It was about four inches away. Conan, you require 46. And the rest. I was being kind. Double 18. Now double nine to square this game up. Now, Guadalbell's not on a finish. So there was perhaps a school of thought for one or two where... He could have laid up for the double eight, which would be more favourable. We haven't actually seen Conan as much on that southwest side of the board than we require tend 18. to see him. Double four. Now down for two twos. 14. And that could be a doo doo. Corner, you require when you do that as a player, he had to go at the double nine. Maybe he should have done that on his last throw of his previous visit while Gronovell was on two two five. He's now on one two five. Hit the ball nicely. Went for the twenty five to fifty nine. Go back for the ball again, but definitely adrenaline kicked in, and he over pitched. Game shot on a second leg. Whitehead needs White no head. second invitation to take out the double two. So we're at one apiece, and the break Third is through from Gronovell. It's all Game gone up. to nothing. And what's going through that young man's head? Fifty-seven. Well, we do like your interaction on the YouTube chat room. We've got a question for you, Scott, from Skillfully Done. Got a question for you, Scott. Do you need to wear a specific shirt or can you just go in your black T-shirt about sponsors or nickname if you haven't got either? I think that was a more generic question 100. for any kind of player. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, You don't have to have a sponsored sort of shirt or anything like that you can 58 use whatever you want obviously if you do obtain a sponsor and then you start not wearing their logo you tend to not keep that sponsor for very long so um that's the way 100 and the, the, the dart scene works obviously with the sponsors you get around to the areas and the competitions that you 81. need to get to so they're valuable you help to you so that's why you see the players wearing their sponsors whether it's at the Dog and Duck League sometimes or 124 good there from Conan 10 with the white dart or you know at the competitions which is where they're getting you to so yeah that's that's the main reason really 58 Conan, that white heads left 40. tops after 12 Game shot and takes it out for 13 it was beginning to get a little bit scrappy after the first couple of legs but Whitehead has put the foot down 13 data Fourth leads 2-1 to throw first game up Although we should say, in terms of actual walls, you have to wear a shirt with a collar on. And you must wear black trousers or smart trousers. And the official walling is tailored 57. trousers. That's exactly what it is. They are tailored trousers with no jean-style pockets. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's one of the rules. We've got to look the part 26. when you go up there and... Obviously, with, with the sponsors, there's positions that they're allowed to be, uh, particularly for TV events. You're allowed two on your right chest, two on your left chest, one 94. on your right arm, one on your left arm. And there's a new rule with the PDC now. You can have one just under your collar on the back. Which we have also adopted here at the Moda Super Series, which is great for the players because it gives them an extra opportunity to ascertain a sponsor, gives them more revenue, more income, and more exposure as well to those particular sponsors live on YouTube, uh, not just in the UK, but across the world as well. One hundred. Even the referees allowed a sponsor patch as well. Yeah, absolutely. Who would sponsor them? Like Mensal? 60. 
corner. Not Mensa Sulevich, as in Mensa the brain people. 1v5 for Grenoble to square up at 2 2. Can find the second treble. 75. He's himself on 60 to square this game up at two apiece. 45. Again, the slight problem 60. comes for Whitehead there where those two darts were under the treble 20. Opens up the door it's for Gornabeld, who Corning squares Grunabel. up at two apiece. Can't split these two. Fifth flag, it's Conan to throw first. Game on. And this is a huge game because if Whitehead wins, we have a four-way tie at the top of the table. And it opens up the door for Victor Tingstrom to 55. really grab a grasp of this group A table because he'd be able to move himself two points clear. However, by virtue, you could have another scenario where... Gronavale can move on to 16. Tingsford can move on to 16 to have Osborne 17. on 14. And White here perhaps back in the mist on 12. Absolutely. I think those first three darts there of Gronavale. 140. We're a little nervy in this leg. He's going to have to go back in the thought process and remember all the experience he's gained with the Flacky Darts Federation. His county where he plays. 99. Fifty-nine. A chance here with a double treble visit to get himself back into this leg. One hundred. Huge passage in play. Sixty. And that could be an untimely slip for Conan if Guanavel can find a couple of trebles here. Eighty finds one, so the ball is in Conan's court. Six starts so one eight seven to move himself three two to the good and to put himself in a leg of the match. One hundred thirty three. This visit from Conan, double treble visit makes 96. him the favourite for the leg. Conan, you require fifty four. Eighteen for double eighteen. Caught the first dart, double nine. This time he has to go for it. 45. And he pinches it inside. And he's frustrated because it Corner wasn't even close. And shows his frustration as well. Is that going to give his opponent the lift he needs not to be on this occasion? 57. Conan, you require nine. So one for double four here for Conan. Now down for double two. Guanaveld lurking for the Get break, but Whitehead flag. pins Conan last die in hand to move himself a leg away. These two have virtually been inseparable so far in this match. 3 2 Whitehead. Sick flag. It's corner to throw yeah, first. they have. And Game on. That would have been a stab to the stomach of Guanaveld. He would have thought with one dart in his hand that he had a chance of getting back, but Whitehead pings the double two. Puts 94. out those fires for this leg. 60. I'll um, do it next game, that's fine. 95. Whitehead now turning the screw on Gronovelt. Is he thinking about his lead at the top of the table, or is he thinking about this 57. moment in the match? 180! 140! Conan, you require 140. Well, a good reply to Conan's 180 there from Gronaveld. 32 in the board, but that dart is problematic. Moves over to the right to try and hit 52. the treble 20 on the other side, but doesn't quite achieve it. A ton here. 
was the minimum 41. requirement, and we saw a lot of shoulder in that last 80. dart from Groneveld. Double ten for the match. Up for double five. 70. And it doesn't go. And so Groneveld Corner to take us the distance. 143. 143. Couldn't find the trouble. 17 of his second dart. And so White is going to come back for double five to complete a 4-2 victory, Corner which will see the top 10. four all locked on 14 points. One for double two. Just about in the single one. But Get permanently shot. pinned the on the double two. And we are none the wiser. Each of the top four are now level on points in Group A. Conan Whitehead keeps himself in contention with a 4-2 win against Corne Groneveld. It felt like a nervy first game on what is a pivotal day for both, but it is Whitehead who keeps his nerve in the key moments. A 4-2 win, that's despite 14 missed darts at double in there. Coming up after the break, the door is now open for Victor Tingstrom to take a two-point lead at the top of the table. If he can get the better of Robert Thornton, who is hoping for a better day than what Tuesday heralded it. Welcome back to the Modus Super Series where we have a dead heat at the top of Group A. Four players on 14 points, although that can change if that man in your picture that well, actually, can you see him? He's in camouflage. Victor Tingstrom, if he can get the better of Robert Thornton. A win for him there. We'll see him on to 16 points, one of the first round of fixtures. Now, Robert Thornton was playing through the pain barrier on Tuesday here at the live lounge. And it looks as if he's playing through the laughter barrier today. Him and referee Jack Garwood having a chit-chat about something. But this man here has been mightily impressive this week. Victor Tingshon, the 22-year-old from Stockholm, finished Masters winner in 2023. 20, Yesterday, average just under 90 for the session. Was ultra impressive. It's for Robert Formton. Yesterday was a day to forget for the 56-year-old. Two-time World Seniors champion, the Form. 
He's hoping that his form has a little bit of a dip in the right direction. It looks like it's going to be Group C for the man from Scotland, the former World Grand Prix winner. But it doesn't stop him from trying to stop somebody else from going on and winning the group. And first leg, maybe Victor to throw first. Victor's the one that Game on. he does deny. Jack Garwood, your referee. Well, Victor in the camouflage colour today, and he'll be hoping to be 100. out of sight come the end of proceedings as well. One hundred. The Swede, who you played with last time he was here, Scott. What did you make of him as a player in the games that you played against him? Well, again, he he was here with um, his country mate Anton, and Anton had been here and and done a Saturday night. So I think he felt. I think they felt at the time that. You know, Anton was going to try and go and win again, and he was like his little sidekick with him. But I don't think he 82. could have got further from the truth. I think he came here and, and really sort of played well in that first week and first few days, and that, that set him up 83. for the week. And uh, he made finals night and didn't, didn't quite uh, get to the summit. But I think he knows more about it this time round. He's a better player this time round, and... He's got that much more experience again since the last visit. So I'm impressed with what he's been doing this week. Well, what a start. I see it's for Tingstrom leaving tops after 12. Forced the 138 of Thornton to go. He's had a fairly solid start himself. Tops for Tingstrom. One nil Tingstrom, 15 leg, dart to Victor start. Tingstrom. And that's what he's been doing very well. He's been finishing games off really nicely. When he's got three darts in his hand, he rarely makes Second a mistake. Leg. It's Robert to throw he, first. Takes the, he takes the leg and it's an Achilles heel of most dart players with three in your hand. Sometimes you'll shoot it on a combination shot, a 120, a 118 or whatever with 42. one dart in your hand. But when you've got three in your hand, sometimes you do walk away from the board having missed and it's very frustrating and... Something that Victor has not been doing all week. He's been, if he's had three in his hand, he's taken it out. And that's why he's there at the top of the table. When you think about what Victor's done here, what Andreas Harrison's done here, what Anton Erson's done here, and in other arenas around the world, is Sweden the next big territory to come through? And maybe to bring these talents to even more prominence, has Sweden done enough 100. to maybe earn more big events on the calendar? Uh, yeah, possibly. I, don't, I think it's just Sweden. I think it's the Nordic region in general. I think, you know, you've got to count, you know, the Danes in there. You've 95. got to count the Finns in there as well. And I think they've got a really competitive sort of tour going on there at the, this particular moment in time. And and Victor is one of those sort of productions of, of, of such a healthy tour that they've got in those Scandinavian countries. Forty-seven. Well, Tinch has got six darts here then from 179 to open up a 2-0 lead and it would put him within a couple of legs of a couple of points lead at the top of the table. Averaging, and I know it's still early days, but 96. averaging in excess of 102. 139. One hundred coming back of a counter attack. Victor, you require eighty-three. That visit got him back into the leg, but this is what Tingstrom's been doing very well indeed. Double nine. Sixty-five. Fulton should, at the very least, get a dart at tops here. Where he gets two at double twelve. Next best prize, double six. Sixty-six. Does it go? The cry of Oh Victor, Robert from the fawn. 18. As Tingstrom returns for double nine. Two Tingstrom double his advantage. Leg, two nil Tingstrom. Tingstrom. First two legs. One in 31 darts. Third leg is Victor to throw first. Game on. Eighty-five. 
Well, Thornton, who has this unblemished record of making it through to Saturday nights, his 11th appearance here. 95. In his previous 10, he made it through to a Saturday evening. And if you want an appearance at Saturday night, just scan this QR code on your screen there. It takes you to dartshop.tv where you can obtain your tickets to the live lounge on a Saturday evening. And I have to say, Scott, what an atmosphere it was last weekend as Jimmy Van Ski lifted the title. It's actually a video today going across our social media feeds and on our YouTube channel, which you can view, just sampling the atmosphere inside the auditorium. So if you are caught in two minds about possibly 16. booking an appearance here at the Super Series, tickets available for the next three months, wherever you are in the country, or indeed, of course, Europe as well, then have a look at that, and it 96. may just sway your thinking. Saturday night is a special here. Yeah, just do it. If you've been to all the big venues around the country in the past and you like people visiting football grounds, you need to come 96. and visit the live lounge. And so, right, uh, yeah, get your tickets. It's a great night here. And it will top off your bucket list of all the places you've visited and watched live darts. 68. Victor, you require 160. Very lucky with some of the great venues we have in this sport. And we're very lucky with some of the players that we get here at the Super Series. But Tinkton isn't going to take out... The 160 here, and so Faunton 60. returns for the 102 Robert, for the break 102. of throw to bring it back to 2 1. 8 2 left, trouble 14 or ball are the options for him. Went for the bullseye, and now leaves himself on top. Victor, if this does not 100. go, tops, tops, there's the first. 60. Oh, clatters the barrel, and he couldn't find the second. 40. And Thornton's back in it. He gets the break. Robert the game Thornton. returns to throw at 2 1. Four flag. It's Robert to throw first. Game on. One hundred and eight. Thornton kicks off leg four with a max. He's second of the game, averaging 96.37, but not making any room in this match because Tingshan's doing something just as good. Well, here at the Super Series, we've seen the Swede hit a nine in Andreas Harrison. Anton Ursland celebrated as if he hit the nine when Sebastian Biowetsky hit one against him at Champions Week. But Tingshan isn't going to follow in that particular 60. vein. But Thornton here has done a great job. Left himself on double 18 after nine. He knew he had to put some big stuff in to get back at Tingsham. And big stuff he's hit. Yeah, he has. And he's now being a bit of a 81. thorn in Tingsham's side, Robert, isn't he? 36. Game shot on the and if he keeps flag, doing that, it'd be an even bigger thorn in his side. And his average is up there just over 100. Fifth flag. It's Victor to throw Thornton, first. Thornton, you have to Game say... Up. It's back on the march. Ten data to make it 2-2. In matter of fact, it took just 26 60. darts to level this game back up after it took Tingsham 31 to open up a 2-0 lead. The worst leg of the game has been a couple of 16 darters. That's representative of a really good contest. The averages show it. Yeah, Tingsham's still in the 90s, so... 100. It's been played at a lovely pace as well now. Suits Thornton. I think I like him when he's throwing a little bit quicker and not picking the darts. 140. Only in excess of 105. He does have a PB this week in excess of a ton. 101.79 and a 4-1 win against Colin Osborne on Monday. 100. So this is as good as we've seen from anybody so far this week at the Super Series, a matter of fact, that 84. average for Thornton on Monday, that 100-plus average is the only one that we've seen so far this week. So he's playing darts in excess of anything that we've watched. 100. Yeah, Robert, seems to be saving his best for the last day of Group A here at the moment. And he has the option of being a real spoiler in this group as we stand. 97. With the four Victor, above him. 141. Probably sat in the back room. And he's probably enjoying being the spoiler as well. 
Tinchin must have thought when he raced into a 2 0 lead, playing as well as he did, that 59. he's put himself in a great position. Robert, he must be thinking 40. now, what kind of haze have I been spun into? Double 10. And Gage Thornton's 3 2 up. 15 data. Averaging an excess of 101.24. Three from seven when it comes to the finishing. Lag, and he's now thrown Robert for the match. Tingsham's let a two leg lead slip. Game on. Yeah, and uh, what you've got to remember is Granovald did 43. exactly the same there the game before. Conan Whitehead turned him over. And it'll be our two table toppers overnight. Are looking like losing their first game, but. We said that Tingstrom has a little bit about him this time round, and he's come through difficult circumstances. And is he going to come 81. through this one? It's a good opening visit for him against the darts. Is he going to throw with freedom? He's effectively turned the darts in his favour now already. It's just now down to him. Keep hitting trebles to keep him in front. 60. Tinson had an opportunity there following that first turn to really take the ascendancy in this leg, but he let Thornton back in, but Thornton not accepting the invitation to the party. And I feel if he can get this one, he has the darts in the next one, and he'll have the momentum as well. So this is a big, big leg in this match. I think the pace of Victor's really suiting Robert as well because they're both getting on with it. Yeah, Robert was picking his darts a little bit yesterday, wasn't he? One at a time when it wasn't quite going right. Looks to have a lot more flow about him today. And that Robert 180 is put pressure right back on Tingstrom. Well, that 154 is for the match. Tingstrom 60. comes back for Victory 121 to save the match. Trouble 17. Bullseye. Doesn't go. And so Thornton returns for the match. Robert, you require 94. Double 18 for tops for the match. 74. And Tingshan's going to return to send us to a Victory decider. You require 44. Thornton thought that was there when it left his hand. You can tell by the reaction when it wasn't. Double 16. Shuffles across. Clips it's off the barrel and finds Victor the bed. 3-3. Free, free. Beautiful last start, that. Everything about it was beautiful. Seven from final leg. It's yeah, absolutely. I'm not so sure he thought that it was in, actually. When, he called, when it, Jack called it, I think he was double-checking because I'm not sure that he thought that was in. Did Victor so... Uh, now he's got it back in his favour. He has the darts. Can he convert? 60. This is a big leg. Tingshan wins. He moves too clear at the top of the group. If Thornton wins, it's as we were. And that is the worst time for a bounce out. And I tell you now, that hit the treble 19 bed. If we were playing soft tip, it would have counted. 100. And he'll be frustrated as well, Thornton, because that two treble turn really would have piled the pressure on Tingsham, who had a dry visit to start the leg. 100. And that presents an opening to the Scot. Not this Scot, that Scot on the telly. 57. Well, this is your quintessentially cagey last leg decider. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Both have had opportunities to get away. Both have 98. neglected them. They're limping around on stilts at the minute. Thornton, a nice over the top down there. That one way over the top, but leaves him a shot. I think Robert was just making sure that he didn't drift. 100. Robert, you require 167. Some way to complete the job. The bullseye. 
would have been to have won it in sumptuous style. Victor, you require so Thornton has missed the match dart. Tingsham is going to come back. He should at least get one at the target Thornton's missed. And this is to move himself two points clear at the top of the group. And Thornton knows that this is the sort of stuff that Tingstrom has been eating and gobbling up. The ball for the match. 54. And Thornton comes back. Robert, you require 25. A salute from Tingstrom. And he may have to salute Robert Thornton in a couple of seconds' time. As he Get pins the double the four. Robert and it Thornton. now means that we really do have a dead heat as far as the top of the table is concerned. Four players on 14 points. It could not be any closer than that. After the first round, you can't split them. You can't prize them apart. Thornton averaging 95.6 and a 4-3 victory against Victor Tings. A real good performance on the forum. Much better than the levels ascertained from him on Tuesday. As for Tingsham, he raced into a 2-0 lead in that match. And it looked like it was going to be solid progression for the Swede. But it's Thornton who runs out a 4-3 victor in the final game of the first round of fixtures. Coming up after the break, we're going to watch Kieran Smith and Conan Whitehead go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So welcome back to the Live Lounge. Our first round of games are complete today. And here's a flash of the table. You can see we've got four players there on 14 points. And our first round of games, our table toppers overnight, both lost. And Whitehead and Osborne both won. And now they're all level. And Whitehead has a chance now to top the table. He takes on Kieran Smith in our next match. Is he going to take advantage of this? And put himself on 14 points and put the pressure back on the other three at the top. You're going to have to stay with us to find out because we are looking forward to the rest of these games today. It is going to be tight, tight, tight to the end, I believe. Well, Conan Whitehead will draw a lot of belief from that game against Gwinnett. It wasn't a classic, but it was a win, and that's all that matters. 
As far as Kieran Smith is concerned, he played better in that game against Colin Osborne, but Colin played at such a level, it just was difficult for him to ascertain opportunities. But first leg, an 85 average, first. took the one chance he had at a double Game in that on. match. Plays to that level, he is going to have opportunities. And I think for him, it's just about breaking that duck 58. as quickly as he possibly can. Yeah, but he's, he's done some good stuff in a lot of the games in the first couple of legs, and then he's had his heart broken by a big shot out or whatever. And it, and it seems to have halted Kieran's confidence, and then all of a sudden he's then struggling on the last couple of legs, and it's, and it's not helped him. 58. He's got to start believing that, you know, he can't go through this day without a win. He's He's got to... He's got to step up and, and, and do those 1,900 averages we know that he can do. One hundred and forty. So Whitehead has taken the darts in leg one and is now looking to run with it. Fifty-seven. My attitude here for Kieran Smith would be, I've got a chance to be the spoiler here today. And I'm going to try and spoil as much as I can. That would be my attitude 99. if I was in that position. Conan, you require 164. 100. Good Kieran, first leg this for Conan, but Smith here, 146 to take out the opener. Not going to go this time, and so Whitehead will return for that 64 for the 56. break that he needs at some point in the match. And you require 64. 100. Tops. Game shot on a first and leg. Whitehead takes Conan out the Whitehead. opening leg. 15 dart break. Yeah, nice and positive on the setup as well. He clearly wanted to go the top route. That's why he went Second treble leg. eight Conan to throw rather first. than treble 16. Game on. Then picks up the 16 nice and tidily, and Tops was like taking candy from a baby for him. Straight in, first up. It's a bit harsh, taking uh, candy from a baby. Well, yeah, depends how big the baby 42. is. I mean, I've got enough candy in here for me and you, but don't try and take it from me. Talking about baby, we had baby boy here last, well, a couple 58. of weeks ago now, Adam Lipscomb. That was another Saturday night that was... Honestly, it was packed to the rafters in here. Our commentary box is towards the back of the building, right by it, the top tier where the, the studio is. And there's some seating areas just to the side for when we fill up to capacity. It got to the point where it was so filled that it was almost standing room only on that section, let alone what it was in the main auditorium floor. Now, Adam, a local lad and a really, really nice guy as well. Big, gentle giant he is. Super lad. 56. And uh, yeah, well supported in this area. So yeah, fair play. Came along to support him. Good on him. Tell you what was nice on Saturday was the fact that usually big 95. crowds are because of a player. But on Saturday, it, it was genuinely a big crowd because they wanted to see all the players play. Obviously, Martin Adams is a big name attraction. Dale Pilgrim, a great player as well. 57. But they were there just Going to enjoy a good night of darts. And that was great to see. Who doesn't want to come and see Wolfie? Come on, he's an absolute legend. Absolutely, he is bordering on the line of national treasure, is Wolfie. 93. The most infectious laughing darts. <laughs> uh, that, felt, that actually sounded like the two days I commentated with him 85. here at the Super Series. Conan, you require 32. He was having the time of his life. Why Ted's hoping to have the time of his life here? Pins a double 16 and he moves into a 2 0 lead. It feels like comfortable progress so far for the former champ. Yeah, indeed. And Third leg, for the it's first Kieran time first. in Group A this week, he will go to the top of the table. And I suppose there's no better time to do that than with three games to go on the last day of Group A. Well, 
This day is a very historic day in the world of darts. This day last year, Luke Littler made his debut on the Super Series stage, beat Nathan Gervin by four legs to two in his debut match. And also two years ago today was the finals, the first ever WDF World Championships. I had the pleasure of being 60. at the lakeside for that, alongside Chris Murphy, Tony O'Shea, and Martin Adams, actually, as a matter of fact. And Neil Duff... Bradley Roos, two players we're going to see at Champions Week, won the Men's and Boys World Championship. Eleanor Cairns, who we've seen here in the ADC Women's Tour Championship, won the first ever Girls World Championship. And Bo Greens became Women's World Champion for the first time, beating Kirsty Hutchinson by four sets to nil in that final. And she's going to be on this stage soon. 100. Of course, you're on comms for that particular tournament alongside the likes of Murph, John Walling. Lorraine Wynn Stanley made her commentary debut as well and was very good on debut too. 130. Yeah, no, it was a good week. It was lovely to be part of it. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Gemma 19 leaves the ball for the champagne shot. Doesn't go though for Kieran. And so White did back for the double break. 62. Double 16. Two eights. Three no white And a little Kobe bit of a war hand. from the Barbarian. He knows the significance of that moment. He knows the significance of every single Four game flag. from it's here on in. To throw first. Game on. One hundred. One hundred. Ninety four. Ninety six. Fifty-nine. So good thinking there from Smith. One hundred and twenty-six. It should have went out. White Ted now closing in. Eighty-three. Oh. He's a couple of bits of miscounting there. Sorry, Kieran Smith started the right way on the eighteens. 59. And then got his last couple of darts wrong. And then Conan did the same thing. He needed to move to not leave 165. 58. Kieran, you require 120. To get his first leg on the board. Treble for single. But the first dart stands up. And so has to move across because he could have catched it like he nearly did there. 85. And he couldn't pin the tops. And so this Conan, you require to put himself on the 16 points. A double, double. Yeah, Smith, Smith went with that dart. That last dart for tops, he went with it. His whole body went 39. with it. And because his whole body was 35. on the move, there was no hope of hitting that double top. Two eights. Incredibly, Whitehead there with the previous turn was trying to go double 19 bull. No score. And that's a bit of a mess for Kieran, and Conan he knows it. 68. And so Whitehead returned to 68 for four nil win. Tops has to move across. Twenty and then pins it just above. Kieran, you require thirty-five. I wonder if he can hit the three this time because I think that's what he was aiming at last time. He may be one of those players that goes the middle of both. Game shot on and the he's got, flag. He's Kieran's got the job there. done anyway. Fifth flag. And Smith it's crucially. Gets the break back to 3 1. Game on. 97.
140. One hundred. A whitehead now. One hundred. Putting his foot on the gas. Hundred and eighty one points away 100. from the top of the table now. Hit it down for the ball. He hit a 170. He actually said always, as in for it's typical when he wanted the 25, he hits the ball. 134. Going 11. 4 and 11. 11. To round off the win. Double four. Lovely guide. But he can't seven. use it. And Smith's got another Aaron, route back in the match. Uh, shout out from Conan there. On the miss. Fifty-four. Conan, you require four. Double two. To put himself to the summit. He's hit this three times already today. Seems to be one of his favourites. Game shot and the match. And he finds Conan it to Whitehead. seal a four-one victory against Kieran Smith, which puts Conan Whitehead to the top of the Group A table for the first time this week. The outpouring of emotion is an outpouring of relief. He's made his way to the summit, and he points to us as to say, I'm going to stay at the summit. A 4-1 win for the Barbarian, averaging just a shade under 90. Four from 11 when it came to the finishing. Outscored Smith in the 140-plus department. Coming up after the break, Robert Thornton against Colin Osborne. And as well, we'll have the answer to our tungsten teaser. Welcome back to the Motor Super Series where Conan Whitehead has risen to the summit of the 
Group A table, Colin Osborne looking to move himself onto 16 points. Up against Robert Thornton, who is another one of those players chasing that ton of victory. On 98, uh, sorry, 99 wins now in this competition after beating Victor Tinsham by four legs to three. If he beats Colin Osborne, he'll become the seventh player to win 100 first games in this competition first. after Osborne Game made off. it a century of wins by beating Kieran Smith 4-1 in the opening game of the day. 140. So, Thornton kicking off at 140. So, 60. Os Thornton looking to join Osborne in the Ton Plus Club. It's now time to answer the Tungsten Teaser for the day. Oh, please do. I can't wait. So, the other players alongside Colin Osborne to have won 100 games here. And Mike Warburton is on 102 from 167 games. Steve West, this is an incredible, incredible record. 108 wins from 165 matches. Andy Bolton, 100. 110 wins from 175 matches. Neil Duff, 117 wins from 190 and the player with more wins than anybody else at the Super Series is the reigning champion, Scott Taylor, 29. who's won 120 games. Sorry, won 120 games from 176. An incredible record, that. 60. Don't put mine up there, will you, for crying out loud. We said wins, Scott. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I meant. You've won more than a couple Robert, of commentators here. That's all I will say. Oh, I've won a few. I've enjoyed myself here. I think it's the best throw in the world here. It's the most enjoyable throw to play on. 38. Looked expensive. One set up for Jack. And Fordson returns for 86 and... Thornton looking to par pressure on it. But this is a 91. seemingly a different Robert man Uribe today 86. in the Thorn who had his trials and tribulations yesterday. He's got a dart at the ball to take out the opening 61. leg, which he doesn't pin. And so Osborne now for 86. a break opportunity. And if he does get a poke at a double, his last dart in hand has been so good this week. He's going to have to find a treble. Couldn't find the 14s to 46. have left himself... Double Robert 16, Uribe and so Thornton, 17 double four is his MO on 25. But misses the big number. And so it's only one at double four. 21. And Osborne comes back Colin for tops. Uribe 40. Twin, what has been quite a scrappy opening leg. This has helped him out so much already it's this week. The first leg. And Colin it's found Osborne. again. Osborne breaks, leads 1-0. Second leg, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. Sixty. So Osborne against Thornton here. Big game coming up next. 60. Tingsham against Grunewald. Massive game. That the first time really we've seen two of the contenders go toe to toe. Yeah, and they're... 60. Head to head. Funny enough, it's 2-0 in the favour of Groneveld in that 45. one. 45. So the one that Groneveld really needs to win the most. Can he make it three in a row? Well, you'll have to stay with us to find out. 43. Little matter of the wizard and the thorn here. And the thorn be thorn in the side of the wizard. Forty-three. Eighty-nine. Just waiting for this game to really spark into life. It's been quite a tepid start to this encounter. Yeah. 
very touchy feely, isn't it? It's trying who can assert themselves on the game first. They've played each other many times, I'm sure, in the past and know each other's game inside out from their days on the Pro 96. Tours. And Colin, you require 155. Enjoy the Moda Super Series. We continue to get these guys going head to head. And that's what we love. Week in, week out. 50 weeks a year, we bring you live coverage. Six days a week. 39. Robert, you require 86. Two. Break back, level up at 1 1. Two in hand, a double 16. Now up for eights. 70. Doesn't go. Colin, you require and 116. You can tell what Robert for to that. Could have fired the trouble with the second dart, and so Thornton to break back. Double four. 92. Robert, you require eight. No score. And Osborne's going to come back. Three in hand, a double 12. 24. Yeah, over-adjustment there from Thornton. He was way high with the first one, so I thought, I'll just take a few beans off it, drop it down in, and he took too many off, and double 13 was the result. And a bust of score, a and Osborne, Colin Osborne, once again, does not need too many invitations to step back in and hit the double 12. Third leg, it's Robert to throw first. Game on. One hundred and thirty five. One hundred and forty. Well, this is more like 121. it. 121. You get the sense that a game like this between players like this, once the first player goes, then the other one will quickly go alongside. 121. Yeah, I feel you're right, Henry. I think it's just waiting for the blue touch paper to be lit, isn't it? 59. And let the fireworks begin. One hundred. Well, what's born here? Six. Colin, you require one hundred. Has taken the darts off of Robert in leg three, and so he's the one who's going to get first poke from one forty. Not going to go, and so Thornton will have his turn, his chance. Eighty-two. Robert, you require one hundred and forty. And now you feel ton from here is minimum requirement for Thornton. To try and pressure up 60. the 58, and he hasn't really Colin, done that. 58. For three now. Two at tops. Game he gets a double break. Leg. How Colin kind Osborne. has that double been for him today? Wins this. Four flag. It's Colin to throw the first. table almost flip-flops in the respect that Victor and Corner, who were top of the table, moving to third and fourth. Conan and Colin would be one and two before they meet in the next match. Yeah, great spot, mate. Yeah, absolutely. 100. The wily old heads have done what they've needed to do to get back in it yesterday and now asserting themselves on the job today. I'll tell you what, let's have a look at the table live 46. because a win here for Osborne put him onto 16 points. Whitehead would be on 16 points as well. Tingsham on 14 alongside Groneveld on the same number. And the winner of that game would be on 16 points. So if Osborne wins this game, which it looks increasingly more likely it will be the case, the top three players would be on 16 points and the loser of the next game would need a lot of work to get themselves back in the mix. They'd have to complete the car from there on in. 60. Robert's last score was 140. 
Uh, just some adjudication in terms of the scorecard of Thornton. And now... Colin's score was 60. We await to go again. So Osborne leads Thornton by three legs to nil. Thornton back at the hockey, 2-6-1. Fifty seven. Seventy eight. Forty six. If Haunton first to a finish, but Osborne can leave it much more makeable here to complete the job for Zip. 125. Robert and that indeed he does with that visit. Thornton wanting 158. It's not going to go this time. Needs that 100. trouble 20. So there is pressure applied to this 92, 92 of Osborne. Which way will he go? Will he go 25 or will he go straight at the treble 20? Went straight for it, mate. Look at the double-double. That was exactly what he did. And so Fulton returns to 58 to get his first leg on the board. He's missed seven darts and a double in this game so far as a Scott. 52. Robert, should get two more 58. here. Should, but won't. Game shot on the fourth leg. The one anyway. Robert Thornton. Yeah, absolutely. Good recovery there from Thornton. You're three nil down. Fifth flag. You missed the big eighteen. First. Game on. Your dart and life is falling apart right in front of you as you speak, and he goes fourteen tops like nothing matters, and that's the class that he has. That's uh, forty. When things are low, you've got to find something to make you believe that you can still do it. And is the double top going to be the help? One hundred and eight. Swinging it the game it's not going to be because Osborne started with a 180 average goes up to 83 100. and a half and now he's moving his sights to different targets 83 towards the top of the table <laughs> And also, the other thing that Cullen needed to do is arrest that legs difference gap. And if he can win this 4-1, he moves himself on plus 5. Whitehead with plus 11. 68. Tinkson plus 12. Grunevel plus 11. Still got some work to do, but he's done a lot of damage and a lot of help in those first couple of games in terms of that particular bracket. 95. Forty-nine. Colin, you require one hundred and forty-three for the match. One forty-three. First one's there. Second one's not. Sixty-six. Is he going treble ten here? Ninety-five. Robert, you require one hundred and forty-four. Bit of juggling there from the wizard as he leaves the board. The one four four isn't going to go. So Osborne back for forty eight for the match and to put him top Colin, of the group. Forty eight. Thirty eight. Wow. What you require? Forty six. Tripped over a pebble at the finishing line there, didn't he? Game shot on a fifth Allow line. Thornton Robert back Thornton. into the game. Thornton still has to break this one to go 3-3. Three, three Sixth line. It's back, Colin to throw first. Game on. Osborne will be disappointed with the end of that leg. 137. Oh. 
81. Sixty. Ninety nine. One hundred and forty. I'm on forty. Lee's Osborne on a finish to take the match out. Fawnton comes charging back, applying maximum pressure. Colin, you require 164. So, to complete it, in sumptuous style, in wizard-like style, couldn't quite pull a rabbit out the hat. Robert, you require 141. So one for one for Thornton. He's not going to do it. So Osborne will be back for the 25. 21. And what could Colin, be an all-important win for him. Double eight. Oh, he's gone inside that as well. He's Robert, fluffed his lines again. Thornton then 120 to come back in. 60. Osborne knows Colin, you how important eight. this eight is in relation to the Group A table. Game and he nails it. He nails Colin it this Osborne. time, the second time of asking. It's a good win for Colin Osborne. 4 2. Thornton out of sorts at times in that game and then right in it at times. He was very patchy. Thornton had an 80 average. Osborne had the 84 average. Osborne goes back to the summit of the table. We take a short break, and when we come back, we will join you with another massive game, Corne Groneveld versus Victor Tingstrom.
Welcome back to the Modus Super Series, where before the break, Colin Osborne got the better of Robert Thornton by four legs to two, averaging just under 84 and a half, 40% when it came to the doubling, and it puts him onto 16 points alongside Conan Whitehead at the top of the group. Talking about 16 points, the winner of this game between Victor Tingstrom and Corny Grunewald will move on to 16 themselves. The loser will be two points behind and will be in need of snookers. They are to go on and win the group. Tingstrom had the opportunity to move on to 16 points at the beginning of the day. Both him and Gunnavell come off the back of a defeat. First leg, it's Corne to throw first. Game on. I suppose the question is, who will respond best to that particular adversity? Well, I think it's all about what's between the ears. I mean, Gronneveld knows that he's beaten twice this week already. Tinkstrom doesn't seem to be the sort that will allow somebody to try and beat him three times in a row. It's uh, it's one of those games, and one hundred. I feel the slight advantage could be with one hundred Gronneveld because he has the darts, but. 80. Tinkstrom's telling me otherwise there with that 180. 43. He's hitting the Ting Tings. That's not my name. 45. Four letter word. Absolutely. Love it. 100. So Tinkstrom. Trying to set up the best he can against the throw and set up he will. He's going to force this 118 of Grunewald to go. Corner, you require 118. Single 18. Tops for the 118. 98. Dips below. Victor, you require. 40. Yeah, didn't try right with the conviction of the first two, did he? It was very noticeable. String Shrimp's giving himself the opportunity. He doesn't often miss with three in his hand. 30. That was a rare you one. Require 20. You can sense the tension. You can sense the nerves. Double five. Big dart. Ten. Big miss. And it wasn't Victor, really close. You require 10. No, that, that in short, as a player, when you watch it, your, your opposition, your opposite number missed by that far, you tend to step in and get the job done. Eight. Right on cue. Corner, Lovely. You require 10. More commentary masterclass. Game shot on the that first one looked leg. to have a Corner bit of shoulder, bit of lean, bit of everything. Probably the worst start he's thrown all week, and it went straight in the top corner of the double five. Second leg is Victor to throw first. Game on. <laughs> 58. Well, Gronneveld steps in and takes the first leg. What sort of ting is happening around here? It's a crazy 16. group. Three players on 16 points at the end of this game. Ting Strom, who was top of the ting at the beginning of the day, could be dropping to four. That's Ting Strom's second 180 of this match. I would say that Ting Strom is head strong. Forty five. One One hundred fish for Corne. This would be Gourmet if he can take it. Another one of them would left the ball's eye for a 2 0 lead. And so Tingston comes Victor back for 78, 78 to square proceedings up. Double 10. Well, he went safe. And he's now given himself an 58. open bed, but he can't Corner open up the opportunity 65. for himself. And so Gonneville for a 2 0 lead. Double 16, doesn't go. 49. 
Victor, you require 20. This is a game between two players that both know what's at stake. It's being played in that manner, played in that way. Game shot on a second but leg. Tingstrom levels up Tingstrom. at one apiece. Third leg, it's Corne to throw first. Corne Game won off. the scrappy leg first off, and kind of that was his leg to win, and he, he didn't 57. Quite complete the job. And we find ourselves back at 1 1, and he's the one with the momentum. I would say that it's Tingstrom having won the 45. last leg, but neither look as comfortable and assertive as they have been all week. 96. We mentioned this experience versus inexperience factor, and is this possibly the scenario where that could come into play? 100. Yeah, very much so. It could do. It could do. Sometimes 100. when you're inexperienced, you don't have the scars, the battle scars and the mental damage from the game that maybe an inexperienced player has. 42. The other thing that should be stated as well is Tingstrom had control of that game against Thornton and relinquished it. And it was the first time that we'd seen him do that as well. You require 148. 100. With Corn 8, you feel that every dart is a learning dart for him. In this situation. 96. Corner you require 48. To put himself 2-1 in front in what's been a real nip and tuck affair. Two eights. 32. And now Tingstrom has his opportunity to move himself in front. And he would do so for breaking hand as well. Tops. Once again. Game shot on a third leg. Tingstrom Victor punishes. Tingstrom. Groneveld for his miss. Four flag. He doesn't understand how. Game on. And that picture of Groneveld, he doesn't understand why. And beautifully yes. placed into the middle of the tops as well, that last die. It wasn't a nervy die, it was thrown with full conviction. 140. One hundred and eighty. Well, despite everything that's happened so far in this game, that is Victor Tingshan's third maximum of the encounter. One hundred. In that stakes, he's been quite good, but it's two from ten on the finishing. Ninety-nine. He's given it some problems at times, but it looks like he's uh, wrestling the momentum of this particular encounter. Yeah, and on the scoring 60. power pack, although Victor, you require one hundred and more one eighties in the favour of Tings from the middle diddle stuff, the one forties and hundreds. Ninety two. Eleven have been hit by Groneveld. He's been very consistent. He just has not hit his double and taken 96. his chance. Victor you require seventy two. Well this is for a three one lead. He's going to get one at tops, and it is an open target. Target Shot found. Four flag, Victor he's Tingstrom. got that on a string, his Tingstrom. He has. That's two on the trot. Fifth flag. It's corner to throw first. He's Game taken off. out double top, and all the teammates in middle 60. harness will be hoping for Gronovell to get back into this match by winning this leg. And holding throw. 100. Whereas with that cushion, Tingstrom can throw with freedom. 100. Tingstrom now really 140. 
putting his foot on the throat of his Dutch opponent, averaging 89.68 now, and has really upped it in the last leg and a half. Well, he's going to come back for the match, but Gonovel trying to keep it more handy. He needs to find another one, realistically, 81. he doesn't. Victory you require 100. Bit of a lurch, wouldn't it, with the last start? Bit of a lurch, bit of shoulder. For the match. Gonovel will come back Corner you require for the 160. He needs to find something big right now. And he's not going to find it. And so Tingstrom... It would put him to the summit on legs difference. 101 for the match. 101. Beautiful first start. Double 16 is his line of attack. 69. And it doesn't go. Corner you require no, 110. I know, a leg that he deserved to win. He gives his opponent an opportunity who he doesn't take. 78. Victor, you require 32. To put himself back to the summit. Game Double 16 to put Victor, Victor Tingstrom, Tingstrom on to 16 points. And I think he enjoyed that. I don't know what it was, but he looked happy doing it. Victor Tingstrom with the win. He moves himself on to 16 points at the top of the table. To explain to Jack what that was. Well, I did a little dance move there. There we go. He's going to do it again. He's going to show us again. Felt like a scene from The Office, that. For the Belkin boy with a big win, Victor Tingston wins 4-1 against Corner Gronovel. Three-way tie then at the top of the table. Gronovel with work to do on 14. Coming up after the break, Robert Thornton takes on Kieran Smith. It's the bottom two in the table, jousting it out. Welcome back to the Modus Super Series where we've completed two rounds of fixtures on our final day's action here in Group A. And before the break, Victor Tingstrom moved to the summit of the table by getting the better of Corne Gronovel by four legs to one. Work for the Dutchman to do in the table. As you can see there, 
Conan Whitehead and Colin Osborne have won both of their matches so far this morning. And now they join Victor on the 16 points at the summit. Robert Thornton and Kieran Smith are in fifth and sixth respectively. And they go toe-to-toe -to -toe in our seventh game of the morning session. Smith still looking for that elusive win. Robert, we've seen better stuff from today. And if he wins this game, it'll be his century. And Kieran Smith will almost feel like a Australian bowler during the Ashes where it looks like he's going to be the receiving end of somebody hitting a century against him. First leg, it's Kieran to throw first. Well, but although his chances theoretically were over are now mathematically over. Over. 10-4, big buddy. 100. Eighty-one. You can nearly say we've got ourselves a convoy at the top of the table. There's a man 96. who knows all about radios. <laughs> yeah, an 80s kid, CBs, get in there. Still got them in our tractor, some of us, you know. 78. You still got that cassette, the old cassette player. Remember? Well, I wouldn't know. I wasn't old enough. But back, I've, I've been told that back in the day, you used to have to record the chart show and then cut 90. just before the DJ on the Radio 1 speaks and all that. Yeah, they were so rude. They speak over the music and everything on purpose. 100. Terrible. Next thing you know, there'll be people talking over the darts. Yeah, you get you get some kind of squeaky pip squeak 96. describing it. No one wants that. To be fair, I've just bought a new hands-free kit for my uh, tractor. <laughs> so uh, a radio with the hands-free kit as part of it with 45. a microphone. I've got to fit that yet this Here week. you require 190. Yes, we're moving forward in the in the farming world, you know. Smith hoping to move forward. He's got six on 119 to take out the opening leg. 43. On the turn for 76. Just the Saints needs to find a win to give himself some confidence. He doesn't want to fall in the in Louis 76. Williams trap. Where he couldn't buy a victory. Double 18. Game shot on the first Smith. leg. Kieran Smith. And take a real conviction as well. Second leg. Give credit where credit's due. First. Game on. 60. 60. Yeah, confidence building finish, wasn't it, from him? But. 46. He's got to sort that first start out on the 20s. If it, you know, if he does watch these back and. We're just trying to help, Kieran. We're just, you can see that you're just low on that treble 20. You've got to visibly throw it high to make sure it doesn't happen. Even if you pitch it high on purpose 90. to give yourself a shot with your next two, because you are accurate with it after that first dart, and it doesn't cause you a problem. 140. Sixty. Fawn turn on ninety nine wins 60. after beating Victor Tingshun by four legs of three. A win here, as mentioned at the top of this match. He will make it to a hundred, make it to a century. Robert, you require one hundred and fifty six. And become the eighth player to do it. Sixty. Ninety-seven. 96 for Thornton to square up at one apiece. 76 left. Decided to stay there like the lie. 56. Comes back for tops if Kieran this 132 don't go. I love that nonchalant throw with the last dart. It's so accurate he is when he does that. Oh. 107. 
Almost for Smith. 40. One up. One down. And the 20. double turn isn't found. And Smith's back Hearing for the break. 25. He is indeed. And double eight, he's chasing. Game shot on his second and leg. Once again, Smith. clean as a whistle. 2 0 to Kieran Smith. Fulton may have it's to put Kieran to throw first. the proverbial Game champagne on ice. Ninety-six. Fifty-one. Had a message from Lewis Martin in the chat room. Hope to see Scott on commentary tomorrow. Up the door, sir. Unfortunately, myself and Scott will be departing you after the day's proceedings. You're off to the farm. I'm off to do some football. Fifty-six. It's going to be Paul Nicholson and Chris Murphy with you tomorrow and Friday. Yeah, a couple of professionals in here tomorrow on Friday. Good stuff. Keeping the seat warm, 96. I think, is the phrase, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. 96. As always, Henry, enjoy my time in the commentary 96. box with you. As I do with all the commentators, I do love to talk darts. It's brilliant. I feel always feel honoured that we're in here 100. to be able to talk about such great players as the likes of... Thornton, Adams, and whoever is here. It's just great stuff. Always a pleasure to be in your company. 59. 59. That happens an awful lot for Thornton, doesn't it? That bounce out. 120. I don't know whether it's a dart on dart out. I don't know what it is, but he, he quite often has that. Oh, wonderful setup to leave himself on Robert double 10. This has to go for Thornton. Smith now is on the cusp of a 3 0 lead. 94. Kieran, you require 20. And the confidence he's going to get from this he's if he can complete leg. the job. He's 3 0 up. He's 3 0 up. He's three doubles from four attempts. Four flag, it's Robert to throw first. Game on. Fifty-eight. Well, if Kevin Smith wins this game, it means that there'd be a hundred victories between the pair. Admittedly, it'd be heavily weighted 96. in one favour, but But for Kieran, it would be a massive weight off the shoulders because he's kept coming back. He's kept coming back. He's had to take a lot of haymakers this week, but never once has he allowed his head to drop. And, and that says a lot about him. And he should take a lot of credit from that. And he may well just get his rewards. 61. So a nice little turn here. We'll put him back in the leg, Kieran Smith. But... It's also the fact that Thorn Thornton would be a lovely scout for 85. Kieran Smith to have. And once again, he is playing better now that he's in front. 96. He can't now try and throw with safety here. He's got to throw with freedom to finish the job off. 94. Robert, you require 146. To save the match, it doesn't go. I'll tell you what, what a way this would be to complete your first win. 110. If he can he nail the fish. That'd be some, some finish. 90. Does it go? Thornton back for double 18. 58. Robert, you require 36. Game shot on the four flag. Robert back to 3-1, but Kevin Smith for the first time this week throws to win a match. Fifth flag, it's Kieran to throw first. Game on. 
56. Kieran Ballard, who's on comms on Saturday. It's myself and the assets on Saturday. 60. Well, Smith starts do stand up to attention, and this performance may just stand him up to attention. Eighty one. One hundred and twenty six. Did the right things there, Kieran. Just didn't get the desired outcome, but he's going to have six darts from 100. 179 to complete his first win here at the Boda Super Series. Yeah, you've got to turn the corner, you feel, and that's a loose start. 44. Needed to recover, and now the door is open for the Thorn to come back. 100. Kieran, you require one. Is this your moment? 135 for the match and for the win. What to be this time? 87. Robert, you require one. 48, but goodness me, with this sting, if Thornton took that out, doesn't go. And so Kieran Smith for his first win on the Super 92. Series stage. 48 Kieran, to complete the job. 48. Yeah, what's he? What's going through his head now? What's he thinking? Game shot, and, and it's a first Kieran win Smith. on the stage for Kieran Smith for the Modern Super Series. And look at the relief that's on his face. He's got over the line. It's taken a while, but a win is a win. And for Kieran Smith, just look how relieved he is, and you can understand why. Credit's got to go where credit's due because all week long he has been hit with haymaker after haymaker. He has taken the punches. He has taken the jabs. And now he has landed a knockout punch of his own, beating Robert Thornton by four legs to one. We're going to take a short break. When we return, Conan Whitehead and Victor Tingstrong go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The winner will be the first on to 18 points.
squat? I'm trying to plank. I'm just practicing. The son of a legend, Mason Whitlock at the Modus Super Series tomorrow, one o'clock. He's going to be a part of the Group C proceedings alongside Aaron Beanie, Owen Bowden and Kieran Smith for definite. And we could probably add the name of Robert Thornton to that list as well. Next up for us, Victor Tingstrom up against Curtin Whitehead. The winner moves on to 18 points and moves themselves really in a strong suit to progress through to Saturday night's final, Scott. Yeah, definitely. And uh, obviously, with both being at one and two, we're gonna we're gonna be coming across this now for the next few games. And this is what's gonna keep Group A being very interesting first. indeed, right till game on. the last game. And Osborne and Whitehead go head to head towards the end, and they've all got to play each other. This is this is coming. One hundred and twenty-eight to be in one of the classics. On a Wednesday, this really could be. Well, the thing is, Scott, we just don't know. And that's what adds such a compelling dynamic to proceedings. Yeah, and on, on Monday, when everybody was a bit raw, we'd already had 60. four or five ton topping finishes by this stage of the day. And now we've just had the one today. Um, which shows there's a little bit of tense, nervous headache going on. Everybody's jostling 100. for places. And, of course, the way that the payout system works with the groups nowadays, it uh, the rewards are high for hitting those doubles and going up the group. 25. Well, the basis of play today, who would you have as favourites? 96. Palmy keeps keeps telling myself Tinkstrom, you know, but there's a big part of me telling me Whitehead as well because Conan has sort 53. of kind of come back from the dead on Monday, hasn't he? And, and put himself really in the mix. And now he's got here. You expect him to apply himself and use all his 100. experience to keep him there, but particularly with the averages he's been doing. He's been so consistent around that, you know, 89s 65. and 88s and 92s and 93s. He's been so consistent with his averaging, and that means that somebody's got to go and beat you rather than you give it away. Well, Tinchon couldn't take out the 147 for the 95. first leg. Whitehead then, Conan, you require 170. 170. The big fish for the opener. Another one of them. Would have left the bullseye not to be on this occasion. So Tingstrom is going to return for a more tangible break opportunity 52. on 52. But he's missed the big number. He shakes his head solemnly. It's only going to be a dart at tops. But he only so needed on the, the dart at tops. And that's been taking a bit of a pounding today, hasn't it? Yeah, well recovered as well there from... Victor, it would be easy Victor to, to have, have thought negatively after Game after on. missing that first one. He tried to make sure with the big 12 and overpitched it and hit the five and good recovery to go back to tops. And I think that's the mark of this young man's head. And I think that's why he's been picked up by a tart company nice and quick. They've seen it in him already. And they've jumped on their feelings and got him signed up. But 58. He's showing that he's learning every time he comes here. I don't have him down as one of those super flashy players, you know. I have him down as a, a get your head down and keep grinding 46. players and never give up. And, and he's showing all those attributes here at the Super Series. Well, we saw after winning that last game against Conny Grunewald, a celebration. Now, Christopher 26. Vickstrand has been in touch with us via the YouTube chat room. And said, the little dance that Victor did, it's from a former teammate of his. The teammate would do that whenever he hit a double. I bet that gets annoying after a while, if that's every double. 100. Yeah, I know, Chris. Hi, Chris. How you doing, mate? Thanks for watching. And, yeah, your, t your countryman is doing very well. 97. By the way, I had another comment in the chat room asking, 
when's Chris Mason back giving the chat room fan grief? Well, I can tell you that will be happening next week. That's the one thing I can tell you about next week. Thirty-four. As far as Tingshan's concerned, one six four to double his lead to two nil, and Whitehead just hasn't got going at all in this Victor game, has he? No, he hasn't. He's, he's battled to the summit and now sort of frozen in this one like a rabbit in the headlights. He needs to 100. throw for some more freedom, Co. Come on. Eighty five. For 2 0 lead. Require 64. Tension 64. It's all about the 16 corridor here. Chevrolet's double eight. Double four. Game to take the second leg. leg. Victor and Tingshan moves into a 2 0 lead. And Whitehead has got a lot of thinking to Third do. Lag. It's Conan to throw first. Game on. Has come on to himself. A nice little holder throw here gets him back in the game. And but everything he's done thus far 85. has been outweighed by Tingstrom. I don't think we needed to tell you how Conan felt after those first three darts. I think the loud groan and cry told you all you needed to know. And I suppose there'll be a sense in the back of the mind of Conan where 92. he's thinking he's worked so hard to put himself in this position as far as the group is concerned. He doesn't want to then relinquish it as soon as he can see an opening arise for him. 140. Yeah. Got to play with desire at this point. And not be a trier. And that's much better from Whitehead. Sixty. Conan, you require one hundred and forty-four. One forty-four. Another one of them would have left double twelve. So teach him back for a free no lead. You'd have the double break in his favour as well. You require one hundred and sixty-one. He came in with the conviction and felt that that 45. was going to go, didn't he? You looked at his eyes and he thought, "Oh, yeah. I think I think he really fancies this one six one, but." It wasn't to be, and now Conan has to finish the job off. 16. He's worked hard on this leg. Do you require 116? He's now offered an opportunity to Tingstrom. Does the opportunity knock? Incredibly, that was Whitehead's first dart to the double in this match, but he is going to come back for three more. 56. A double 16 to reduce Conan the deficit 32. to 2-1. On a third the double Conan that saw him hand. win Series 1 is a double that sees him win leg one of this crucial match. Fourth leg is Victor to throw first. Game on. Funny enough, a lot of the winning doubles are towards, in terms of Champions League, on that side of the board. So it was double 16 45. for Whitehead in Series 1. It was double 8 for Smith in Series 2. Double 14 for Littler in Series 3. And double 5 has been the target of choice for McEwen and Taylor in the last 60. couple. Double 10 was the other winning double. And I'd just like to tell you, viewers, he did not even look that up. That was all off the top of the bonds. 100. He's an anorak. The man's an anorak. Misspent childhood, Scott. 100. He just watched loads and loads of darts, I think. That's what it is. You love the Super Series, mate, and a Super Series stat. You love it. 137. 97. Things to trying to close in on a 3 1 lead. 96. Sixty. Have you ever thought Victor about getting the Super Series logo tattooed on your arm, Henry? There's a there's a parlour over the road. Needle phobic. 
Which of an 18 would have had the ball. But he didn't have to go that way with Whitehead, not on an out. For free one lead, Tingsham looking to get his kicks on route 66. 16 for tops. He's been so good on this target today. 46. But for the first time, what feels like a long time, he's dragged below. This is a 2-2 from 2-0 down. Bull. 46. Victor, you require 20. So, Tinkston returns. It's that funny double five with two in hand. You've got to go straight at it. Yeah, and that's what he's flag, done. And Victor nicely done. Composed himself again. He's learned how to deal it. He's, he's flag, learning to throw first. how to deal with those big Game moments off. in matches, those big turning points. And he's been winning them all week. And even under pressure now, he's winning them. And that's showing his class. Tingsham, a leg away from 18 points in the league table, plus 17 in terms of legs difference. 140. Just to put it into context, if he wins this leg, it'd be on plus 18 legs difference of 18 points. Why did it be on plus 100. 8 legs difference, 16 points? Osborne plus 8, 16 Grunewald plus 8.14. Effectively, he'd have a whole round jump in terms of the legs difference. 58. Yeah, we said on Monday that the legs difference can be worth a point 60. on its own. And that's the way that it's going to turn out for Tingstrom. I think that's going to be the one thing in an advantage. And, and that, that, that invisible point... It's going to be his buffer, I think, and allow him to relax in the last few games that he has. Well, he's got two games left. Effectively, he has a game's jump. This for the match. 100. 164 to 164. seal it in style for the Swede. Conan, you require Good lead if the 1-4-1. One isn't pinned by Whitehead. It's not going to be pinned. And so Victor Tingstrom to put himself two points clear and to 65. put himself one step closer Victor towards Saturday's 64. finale. It's going to be a dart. A double 16. Game Whitehead shot. expected it to go. Tingstrom. And Tingstrom duly delivers. And he now moves him himself one step closer towards Saturday night. 18 points to his name. Two points clear of Whitehead. And a massive, massive advantage in terms of the legs difference. Conan Whitehead with a sporting acknowledgement. A relief on the face of Victor Tingstrom. 85-29 average. Four from seven when it came to the finishing. He gets the better of Conan Whitehead by four legs to one. Coming up after the break... How can Colin Osborne come back from that? Colin Grunewald is his opponent in a couple of minutes' time.
Welcome back to the Modus Super Series, where before the break, Victor Tingstrom put a strong grip on the Group A title, getting the better of Conan Whitehead by four legs to one, averaging 85-29. Four from seven when it came to the finishing. He now moves himself on to 18 points. A win for Colin Osborne would put him on that mark as well. But if Corne Groneveld can win, then Victor's position is going to strengthen even more. It's the final game of the third round of fixtures. And what do we expect from this one, Scott? Colin First having won both Colin of his matches. Game on. Yeah, well, it's role reversal for Corne. He's lost both of his matches opening doors today. And he's now, he, he's just searching for a win, isn't he? 140. Osborne now has won every single 82. game since the last match on Monday when he was defeated 4-1 by Conan Whitehead. So as things stand, he is currently on a seven-game unbeaten run. Yeah, indeed. And ironically, looking at the fixtures, he plays Conan Whitehead... The second and the penultimate game of the day. So, 100. Osborne's other fixtures from here are oh, Tingstrom in game 12. And obviously, Conan Whitehead 24. in game 14. So, he's still got work to do, but he can affect it because he's playing Tingstrom. 99. In case you're wondering what the most consecutive matches won is here at the Super Series. It's 17 held by Daryl Pilgrim between both Series 5 Week 2 and the Series 5 Champions Week. That's a max for Osborne, who is hoping to make it eight wins on the spin. Yeah, 17 56. on the spin here is pretty amazing Coming from Pilgrim, isn't it? He holds a few records here, does Pilgrim, doesn't he? Highest average, both in winning and losing. Tots for Osborne for the opening leg. Game shot on the first leg. One nil Colin to Osborne. the Wizards. Yeah, sort of obviously since being here and sort of we've travelled a little bit together on occasions as first. Pilgrim and myself. And Game on. That was one of those. I just can't believe he went to Q school and didn't get a card. And he must have been one of the Red Hot favourites to get one. His form going in. But sometimes it's all a little bit hit and miss Q school. It can be who you play and when you play them. I was kind of unfortunate this year. Four, four of the matches, my four matches I lost. I lost to the guys who all went on and got cards. So that can happen. 140. Well, Darrell's bad luck continues. So he lost a nine-dart shootout on Saturday. Then Monday played excellently 45. well on the Pro Tour, lost first round. And then didn't get to play yesterday because Cameron Menzies played in the tournament. And so Pilgrim, as the lowest place player on the reserve list, had to head back for home. Yeah, it's, it's very difficult. It's, you know, he's... Uh, 125. He's such a class player, player and he's just 84. he's just got to keep persisting because it, it will come good for him. You can't you can't it's see it not and leg, talk about coming Grunewald. good. The nice 84 shot there from Kronerveld. The whole leg, throw gets him Brooks back first. in the game. Game on. Squares us up at one apiece. Quite simply put, Gordeville has to win this game, loses this, then it's virtually over 100. for him. Okay, he can make it to 18 points, but the legs difference just would not rack up. 140. One hundred and forty. Eighty six. One 
Osborne back in the lipstick here. 108. 140 followed by 180. As you rightly say, that five out of five has given him a lot of confidence yesterday. And he's brought that with him today. Colin, you require 81. Well, this is for an 11 dart leg for Colin Osborne. 12. And pull. Doesn't go. And 40. so Grodeveld back Colin, for the fish. 170. This will be a mighty, mighty finish. It's not going to go this time. 42. And with every leg 41. that ticks by, as too does Corny's hopes of winning this group, it's Tots or Osborne. It's 2-1 Osborne. Osborne. And if he is successful today, he's going to have to owe an acknowledgement to that Tots because in so many spots flag, and so many scenarios, it has helped him Game out on. of holes. Yeah, absolutely. And... He was a cagey character, wasn't he, on 85. day one? A few games got away from him, and we never thought that he would pop back into this mix of being 60. near top of the group. Fifty-eight. Sixty. Osborne tried to force the issue there, went round the side of it, but didn't quite get the pitch right. Fifty-two. Big flex of the back there and a lurch from Gronavald saw him drag into the treble four there. Fifty-eight. One of the things you have to do, you have to stand still while you're throwing. They might muscle memory. Unless you're John Henderson, of course. So that puts that theory out the window. But the tendency is if your body's not moving, your muscle memory has a more of a chance to, if it's just an arm movement, to pitch it where you want it to go. The rock around the clock for Hendo. Yeah, it's just 95. It's one of my best buddies in the world. He really is. And um, when we're at tournaments, we spend time together. But. He, uh, he self-confesses it's not, not the best action in the world, but it works for him. And ultimately, that's all it's got to do. Yeah, exactly. And I've got about here, back for double 16 to square this game back up at two apiece. And they may want to have a best of three here. 43. And ideally, this is a game that both players could 36. do with winning by a margin because of the legs difference to Tingstrom. Double eight. And we have a flag. level match Corner again, 2-2. Two, two. Fifth flag, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. Osborne wins, he moves on to 18 points. Gordabelle wins. Tingstrom has a two-point lead at the end of the third cycle of matches. The fourth round sees Thornton take on Whitehead, Gronovell take on Smith, and Tingshan takes on Osborne. And so, if you're Victor Tingshan, you're hoping Gronovell wins this game because then you put yourself in a situation where you can win the group in your next game. 93. Yeah, and it's all in your own hands as well for Osborne and Tingstrom. And Osborne now looks the most likely 96. to challenge Tingstrom with them yet to play each other. It's all in their own hands, and that's that's how you want it as a dart player. You don't want to be relying on somebody else. I, I remember Can't I got through once here thinking of Group C, and I was, I'd was i left because I thought <laughs> it was already done. Um, and a guy who hadn't won a game all week, went and won a game and, and got me through. 85. So it was out of my hands, but yeah, it, it you don't want it that way. You want to go and I was, I was admitted defeat. I hadn't done what I needed to do and I was quite happy that I, I it was down to me that I hadn't Colin made the Saturday night 40. final. Tops after 12 for Osborne. And finally, a miss on that target. 
Double five. Doesn't want to be playing around here. 35. Corner you require. And he's made just a little bit of a mess of things. Granovel 135. Triple 20 for the ball. The ball. Grazes the wire. And that would have been huge. Corner you require. Five. Look at the steel in the eyes of Colin Osborne. He knows the significance of this dart at double two. Game and the significance flag, that Colin hitting Osborne. it provides him because he's now three two up, a leg away from moving on to 18 points. Six flag. It's and to joint first. top of the group alongside Victor Tingstrom. Gronneveld would be out with a defeat. Because Osborne and Tingston play. They'd have to move on to 20. Grunewald can only make it to 18. This is now his last chance saloon. 140. And he is sipping from these scraps at the bottom of the keg, at the bottom of the barrel. 81. One hundred. <laughs> yeah, Gronovald is like galloping away here on a three-legged horse from the bandits. One hundred and forty. <laughs> it's all on a shoestring, isn't it? This one. Well, a bit like the Grand National, the contenders are being whittled down as we head towards the final fences. Corner, you require one hundred and forty. It's a bit of a Beecher's Brook moment for Grunewald, but he's not going to take out the 140. And so 100. Osborne to gallop towards the line. 121 for the match. This would knock Grunewald out. The ball. Doesn't go. 79. Grunewald back for tops 40. to take us the distance again. Yeah, he wasn't impressed with himself there, was he, on that attempt? Two tens, and we go Corner all the way. Big, big leg. A leg Seven which keeps Cody leg. contention or a leg first. which sees co-leaders. Those are the scenarios at hand. Those are the scenarios in play. 81. This is only our second... Four, three of the day as well. 59. Yeah, the other one was won by Robert Thornton against Victor Tingstrom. 15. But that could be the most untimely slip for Osborne. You wonder whether he knows what's on this for him. Surely does. I know when you get in that back room and there's six players in there, everybody has an input. No, no, no. You've got to do this and do this. And then he's got to do that and do that. I would just be putting my headphones on and just 43. head into the practice board out of the way. Unless Matthew Edgar's here, then he weighs around a tr uh, check in the air and says, this is mine that I'm going to win. And then Colin Osborne 96. knocks him out. There you go. No, no, that's, that's the check from the Iceland Open, isn't it? The Iceland Open, which he is defending in a couple of days' time. 96. Perhaps he just plays well in colder climates. I don't know. 100. Well, he's, he hasn't qualified for the Morrison's match play this year. Got about for the match, and it will keep him at least in contention in terms of winning this group. Osborne 96. has led a 3 2 lead slip. Double 16 for the match. Doesn't 96. go. This would be some way to save it. 170. It really would, yes. A big all from Groneveld. It's a big R from him now, a sigh of relief, because he knows that he's back for this double eight. 100. Corner, you require 16. To save his skin, double eight match. is found, Corne and Conor Grunewald is just still in the equation.
He beats Colin Osborne, who now moves down to fourth spot. And it now means advantage Victor Tingstrom, who's going to have an opportunity later on in the session against Colin Osborne to go on and win the group. A 4-3 win for the Swede. A 95.7 average, 4 from 11 on the doubles. Osborne, who had led the game, has let the lead slip and may have let the group slip as a consequence. So that's the end of round three. Thornton v Whitehead kicks off round four after this short break. Well, you join us back here after three rounds of matches here in Group A. And the most significant ones in the last round of matches were Victor Tingstrom beating Conan Whitehead, which means he can mathematically still go through, but it's helped Victor. And if he wins his next game, he'll be through as Group A champion. And Groneveld beating Osborne, sort of putting Osborne's chances back. And there you see in the table, Victor Tingstrom up there on 18 and it's the legs difference is what he has it's like an extra point to him so he's the favorite now and it's down to him having to get on and do the job in this run of games but we join you again here with robert thornton and conan whitehead and hello like you say conan can mathematically still be top he's gonna have to rely on other results even if he wins this game so how they look at this game, I'm not sure. Thornton, he's been in and out of form today. One minute you think, here he is, he's coming back, and the next leg he's he's gone back to where he was. And and Conan, I think, suffered a little bit knowing that he was still, he got himself back first into leg. position it's to Robert top the group first. and then unfortunately Demo. dropped into Victor Tingstrom when he was actually on top form. So an interesting match all the same. But Conan Whitehead will still be trying to even One though it's only mathematically possible, still want to keep the pressure on Tingstrom. Thornton mathematically can only now make it into Group C. Group 57. B is now out of his grasp. 
And so he's going to be playing tomorrow afternoon. Him, Kieran Smith, will be joined alongside Mason Whitlock, Aaron Beanie, and Owen Bowden. The players who don't qualify for Group A and finish second and third will be joined alongside Pete Burgoyne, David Vazuski, and Bradley 94. Brooks. One hundred and forty. A win for Tingstrom in game twelve would put him also almost there. Mathematically, there is a way that he could be denied and defied, but the likelihood of it would mean big wins and big defeat swings. Eighty-one. And also, there is a scenario if Whitehead wins this. Corne Groneveld wins the next, and Colin Osborne beats Victor Tingstrom. We go into the final round of the group of all players on 18 points. 128. Robert, you require 135. I'm starting to get an ice cream headache just thinking about it. <laughs> it's a lot to think about, a lot to contemplate, 59. and imagine having to be a player in this scenario. You require 82. No, I'm quite happy sat here in this scenario. I'm quite good. Tots are Ted. To it's get the break and lead 1 0 15 data for the Barbarian. You say that, but at some point in this series Second to come, leg, it's Conan to throw and I'm not going to say where and when, we are going to see Scott Mitchell go through that turmoil. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why we do it ourselves, really, do we? No, I can't wait. I can't wait. I love playing here. I love playing on this stage. Winning or losing, I just love playing on this stage. It's. My favourite stage 55. of all. A stage where history is made. The first ever female nine darter was hit in this building. And Conan Whitehead is on for one of his own. Fifty-eight. Conan, you require one hundred and four. Perfection for the barbarian. Not this time. But he's going to leave himself on 56 after nine on for a potential 11 dart leg. And Osborne is already halfway towards defeat in the space of two and a half minutes. 140. Conan, you require 56. It's double 18. Game this is marvellous and Whitehead. Two nearly leaves, averaging 115.62. It's taken him just 26 darts to get to what could Third be leg. the halfway it's point. To throw first. Game on. Ninety six. Well, he's saving his best for when it matters, Colonel Whitehead. Ninety two. Well, the one eighties for Conan Whitehead are so commonplace that the lights that flash in the background have decided, no, I've given up. Fifty eight. One hundred and forty. Twenty four. Fifty nine. Feels like Whitehead's got forms in exactly where he wants him. Yeah, I was, I was just going to say exactly the same. He, he's absolutely asserted himself early doors on this game as Conan. And 115. I wonder if he feels that, although it's still mathematically possible, if he can start beating people to nil in the last two rounds, he can give himself a chance. You require 95. Well, 
So, Whitehead going with the 18 with the second dart is saying to Robert, you can't take this 167 out. And he was right in that thinking. And so Whitehead returned to 32 for 3 0 lead. No messing about. 3 0 Whitehead. This is all business on the Barbarian, averaging 107.36. That's the equivalent of an average of 14 darts per leg. Three out of three when it comes to the finishing. And Thornton hasn't even had a dart at double yet. Yeah, and it's two breaks a throw, which helps your average in this situation. 125. He just looks like he's in his armchair up there when Conan is absolutely flowing. There's nothing prettier than the way his arm moves. Because it just flows with absolute ease. The body doesn't move. It just flows with absolute ease. 60. We've only had one ton plus average this week. That came from Colin Osborne. Sorry, that came from Robert Thornton on Monday against Colin 96. Osborne. And I know I'm saying his arm looks pretty. I'm sure his lovely lady, Cheryl Lee, says he looks pretty as well. So, hello, Cheryl Lee, if you're watching. Well, I wonder what Conan White is actually going to do tonight because he's 66. a Welling United supporter and Welling United are playing Haventon Waterlooville in the National League South at Wesley Park, which is around about a 15-minute drive from the 26. venue here. Are you going to that game tonight, Henry? I might be. Well, he might be able to get a lift with you, wouldn't he? Depends what my intentions are. Yeah, big fan of the wings. 60. And he'd be a big fan of the fish if he can take it out. And you know he'll go for it, even if Robert doesn't leave himself on a finish. And he's got six for a comprehensive victory. Ever just moved 56. to in and around 94 and a half now. But it's a good enough performance, real good performance to get the job done. Came other tracks flying 85. in this leg. He's just done what he's needed Going to do. 114. Triple 18 for tops. And that would have been for a 4-0 win. Robert, you require 117. Tots of Thornton. That doesn't go. And now Co has a 40. chance to be a co-leader. Double 10. Moves across. 30. But moves too far across. Robert, you require 40. Thornton back for Tops. And yeah, it was inevitable, Robert wasn't Thornton. it? Inevitable that... Uh, he wasn't going to continue missing. Fifth leg, it's Robert to throw first. And Eight Conan up. knows the significance of every leg in his situation as well. Because if he won 30. that 4-0, then he would have been on plus 12. He would have been just six behind Tingstrom. Now his best hope is plus 11. 140. And those helps boosted by his third ton plus ton forty plus score of the game. One hundred and thirty-four. Eighty one. Eighty three. Perfectly picked. He goes across usually from there and hits 180s. Oh, lovely, lovely last start from Conan. Forty-two. So Whitehead Conan, six starts for the match from 140. So 
He's got to square himself up for tops after 12. 100. Yeah, nicely done. Made no mistake. Didn't want to catch the other flights or get dragged into the treble 20 busting situation. 134. Conan, you require four. For the match and a 4 1 win. Tots are white and, and it means that he Conan goes Whitehead. joint top of the table. He's going to have some work to do in terms of the legs difference to defy Victor Tingstrom, but he puts himself in a very good suit. Whitehead wins. He's on to 18 points, and he is still a very interested party. Those are stats from a very good performance. 94.75 the average. After the first three legs, it was still in excess of 107. Four from eight when it came to the finishing. For Thornton, well, his woes this week just continue. Coming up next, Corne Grunewald up against Kieran Smith. Welcome back to the Moda Super Series where we are into the final third of the day's action before the break. Conan Whitehead put himself onto 18 points by getting the better of Robert Thornton by four legs to one, 94.75, the average four from eight when it came to the doubling for the former champion. And now it's all in the court of Corne Gruneveld. If he beats Kieran Smith, he would move on to 18 points. But you may want to be wary of the margin of victory in this particular match as well because... If Victor Tingstrom wins the next one, then Grunewald's going to have to win this one big beforehand to keep himself first in a good suit in terms of qualifying first. through. But there is still that scenario. If Grunewald wins this one and Osborne wins the next, we go into the final round of fixtures with all four players on 18 points. And Grunewald kicks this game off with a maximum. Just to point you in the direction of the final round of fixtures, Grunewald takes on Thornton. Osborne takes on Whitehead and Smith takes on Tingstrom. But this is a perfect start for the Dutchman. Well, up until there. 81. It was four perfect starts. Starts. Start. 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 It's easy for you to say with a mouthful of peanuts. 98. I knew what I meant. Everybody didn't know what I went. 
I'm going no further with it. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. 100 and <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, got about Tom for potential 11 data to kick six. off here. Tops. Double 10. Open bed to aim at. An open bed missed, and he's got time. Thirty-nine. Corner you require ten. Well, it doesn't have to go for it, but does go direct. Some players may have split to go on two double four. No score. Ninety. Corner you require ten. Two fives. Well, he's made a little Six. bit of a mess of this leg, and this will feel like a real pinch if Smith can take out the 111. Triple 17. Tops. Oh, that would have been the steal of the week. Corner, you require four. Game shot on the first leg. Corner, Grunewald. It's knowing how far to let him go, mate. It's knowing how far and how many darts to let him have a go, and... Corney will be pleased to get through that first. one. <laughs> Game on. We'll leave etched on the face. Yeah, the raise of the eyebrows show that I think he was a little 56. bit relieved there. Sixty. Fifty-six. Ninety-seven. Now, Gronenberg in the first leg got off like a sting train, then missed a hat full of doubles, and 96. it looks like there's been a bit of a hangover effect into this next leg. Yeah, it is. A, it does happen to you as a player. It does happen to you. You, you fly off, fly off, and it, for two or three throws, you're going, how on earth did I let that leg, how did I nearly lose it? 95. And again, it's a negative thought that you have to get rid of. You, you, you know, a lot of players go, were you really thinking that? And sometimes you do when you're that far in the front. 60. You go, how is that? How did I not get that? And then you, you'll be overthinking it next time you get down to a double. It's... Everything in a dark player's head says no. 85. It's the ones Corner that don't have that keep reoccurring in their head. The ones that win the big bucks and the big trophies. 58. Here in your require well, 113. This to square this match up at one apiece. 93 left. Doesn't go as a good eveled for 2 0 lead. Should at 50. least get a dart of the balls out of the end of this combo. Double 16 for 2 0. And two nil it is. Yeah, and that's a better finish from him, wasn't it? That's better finishing. Third leg, it's corner to throw first. Just give him a bit of confidence. Game on. Fifty-eight. Sixty. Nobody's grabbed this leg by the scruff of the neck just yet. Two troublous visits, three troublous visits. One hundred and forty. Forty one. That's a slip. Let's just let Smith in and have the darts here in the third. It's a game that Gunnar is going to have to be careful in here because the okay, got off to a good start, but those missed doubles are really lagged over. And there's just a feeling that if Smith can just up it a little bit here, that he could find himself in boil, but that's more like it. 
And on go the lights. That can only mean one thing. It was a 180 for Granoveld. Adds another max into the shopping basket. Fifty-seven. Kieran, you require one hundred and three. One hundred and three for two. One. We actually haven't seen a ton plus out since Osborne hit two in game one. But if Smith could have pinned the double sixteen there, we would have changed that. One hundred and eight. Like I say, with that win, we're seeing him play with a different confidence. 88. And it's in these Kieran moments where Gunnar's going to have to be careful here. Yeah, he is, because Smith is dangerous. 16 for Smith. Smith, and that's a good find when you consider how blocked the bed was. Back to 2-1. Four flag, it's Kieran to throw first. Game on. Ninety. One hundred and forty. One hundred and eighty. Just the whole mannerisms, the body language of Smith is totally different. One hundred. Now that he's got that one win under his belt. It's amazing what a little bit of confidence can do. Ninety-nine. And if he can finish today with a couple of victories under his belt, it just gives him that real belief going into Group C. Belief that he can 100. qualify. <laughs> he's, going head to, he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the tabletop of the two nights, and it shows that this is what he has about him. Another. The way the first one sat below made 92. life very hard for him. Corner, you require yeah, definitely. 137. Still the right decision to go there, so... Kieran, you require 40. It's 40 for Smith. Three darts in hand. Beautiful lie. But he can't 20. use it. And Godavell is back Corner for the break. Double 12 for 3 1. Double six. But he can't 12. keep spurning opportunities like that. And Smith 20. returns to parity. Yeah, now. He's got that B in his bonnet. Oh, they're so close. He's had opportunities all week, Smith. Corner He's given himself 12. opportunities all week, Game just like that one. Corner and they haven't out. kind of gone his way. And then that's sort of killed his momentum and put the proverbial drawing pin it's in his bike tyre and slowed Game him on. down a bit. Cornerville free one up, but he will be... Feeling a huge sigh of relief, though, that he's in that particular position. Yeah, he will, because he hasn't averaged his best here, Gronoval, but he's getting the job done. Is he starting to try and do the table numbers in his head? 140. 100. Should start downstairs and did start downstairs and have a look at this for a setup for the match. 135. He's himself on the little fish. And Smith and Sel should start downstairs. And now heads upstairs. 59. But Corne, the frustration's there to see. And so Corne comes back for the match. Didn't have to go. The bullseye route because Kim wasn't on a finish. And so we'll come back for double 16 to move him on to 18. And there'll be three players at the top of the group before Tingshan takes on Osborne.
59. Corner, you require 32. Double 16 for a 4 1 win Corne for Corny Gruneveld. And it means that we've got three players on 18 points going into the final game with a fourth round of fixtures. He had to survive a couple of scares at times. And how quickly he's coming off the stage is all business like. 87.71 the average. And that's despite missing 13 darts at a double. 86 is highest out. Three maximums in there as well. Two of them win the first leg. Coming up next, Victor Tingstrom up against Colin Osborne. Welcome back to the Motor Super Series where Victor Tingstrom is on the cusp of Group A glory. If he wins this game 4-2 or better, he will be the victor of Group A. Colin Osborne is his opponent, but he will be wary of the fact that a win for Colin Osborne in this particular fixture would mean that all four players at the top of the group would be on 18 points and it would be Battle Royale going into the final round's worth of matches. Even if Tingshan wins 4-3, it's not mathematically certain, but it would take a lot in the final round of matches to first see him not go on and win first. the group. So Game this off. is the game. This is the one that will decide Victor Tingsham's fate potentially. Yeah. We just saw his last couple 40. of practice throws there, Victor Tingstrom. He Walking around behind Colin, getting his head right into position with a couple of throws before the leg started. He knows the importance here. 100. Well, he has answered every question that's been asked of him this week. This is the biggest question that's been dealt with yet. Yeah, and you wonder whether he would prefer the couple of days off or whether he would prefer, prefer to play for the couple of days. 140. 
Well, I wonder whether he's going to be one of those players that plays at that competition in Waterlooville tonight. A lot of players who play at the Super Series, there's... 58. Events. On Tuesday and Wednesday, respectively, in this local area, which a lot of players attend. And I wonder whether that might be a way of keeping his arm handy. Yeah, it'd be a good possibility, I suppose. Yeah, a few people have headed off up there. And I know the Southampton Dark Series required, on a Tuesday has had a few attendees as well. Sixty-one left, so eleven and pull. Triple eleven leads double fourteen. The bullseye. And that would have been for the break. And this is the fish. And Osborne needs to restrict the legs that Victor wins. And so a break of throw in the first puts himself in a very good position. 94. Colin, you require 25. Just about in the nine. Two eights for one nil. And the break of throw. Tingstrom waiting in the background. His head sunk to the floor. Hoping that this doesn't go. Double four. Game shot on the Does first last leg. dying hand. Osborne, Osborne gets the break that he so duly needed. Second leg. It's Colin to throw first. Game on. So Osborne with the break of throw. And now really turning the thumb screws. As he opens up with a 140. To start leg two. 60. One hundred and one. Well, Osborne kind of doing what we're so used to seeing from him here at the Super Series. And that's come 60. up with a big performance at a big time. Anything standard, averaging 106. But perhaps the more concerning tale of the tape is Victor Tingstrom averaging a mere 77.86. Yeah, but he's just been getting the job done, hasn't he? I think it's one of those days for him where you're not really worried about your average. You're just trying to get the job done. One hundred and eight. And that was a. Where have you been? Colin, you require one hundred. Gesture with his hand to his darts. There are a few players out there that do talk to their darts. There are some very talkative players at the board. Some referees tell me. So, eighty for 59. two nil, Colin Osborne. Colin, you require eighty. Double ten, two in hand. One to go. Sixty. Victor, you require one hundred. A bit half-hearted attempt from Osborne there. Usually he's very nailed on with them, isn't he? And that one. Oh, another one of those. Bounced off the barrel. Touch unfortunate there with the ricochet. Tried to use the dart 86. to advantage to drag it into that Colin treble, which can happen. But it didn't on that occasion for Tingstrom. So it's Osborne back at double 10. Shot he makes no leg. mistake Colin second Osborne. time. A bit of wizardry from the wizard. Third leg is Victor to throw first. Game on. Well, this really would, a defeat 99. here, would sting, sting for Ting Ting. <laughs> it would indeed. It would indeed. And, but it, there's nothing to worry about just yet. I, I, if he gets broken here, then he's in big trouble. Victor, he won't worry. We, we've watched him all week do this and come back from this situation. 80. When he's had the darts. He's not worried that much, but we're in a different situation now. That was day one and two. We're now in day three. 
And every dart, you feel it. Every dart counts. If he's come out here thinking, I don't want to lose 4-0. 86. Don't lose 4-0, don't lose 4-0. Ultimately, you do lose 4-0 because you convince yourself it's psychosomatic. Oh, if I get out here and have a couple of legs, I'm safe. Well, you know, I've got the last 45. game up against Kieran Smith. Not a problem. No, no, no. You mustn't think like that. You must get the job done now. And if Osborne wins one more leg, it's 18. impossible for Tingston to win the group in this game. 4-2 is what he needs to win the group. Eighteen. Remember, Osborne wins Victory this game. All four players will be tied on 18 points. He's got a couple of cracks on 1-5-6 as Tingstrom hit. 60. He's himself on 96. Osborne, if he can... Had a couple of trebles here. It will make things very interesting, but not with a treble like that. Ninety-five. Victory require ninety-six. So treble twenty is in. Double eighteen has been his friend. Game shot on the and third leg. Once again. So that's to hold a throw. Now it's thrown back into Colin's face, but Four Colin flag. has the darts Colin here. To throw first. Game on. But momentum, you would say, with that tidy shot is with Tingstrom. And you would think that Osborne would be wanting for some sort of 100. treble visit. And wow, that big over the top looper that Colin does so well. And here we go. 140. Confidence reasserted with Tingstrom with that lovely 96 of the last visit of the leg before. Sees him open up with a 140. 55. And that's pressured the wizard. 140. So back to back 140s here for Tingstrom looking to turn the tungsten tide again. And to peg it back to 2-2. Two, two. 140. Well, after what was a slow start for the Swede, he's worked his way back into the game and to some degree, to the nth degree. And he's on for a potential 11 dart leg to level his match at 2-2. Two, two. Eighty-five. Victory require forty-one. Uh, Two-two written all over this. Nine for double sixteen. Game shot on a four flag. Emphatic again from Tingstrom. And I said earlier at two-nil, we've seen him getting himself out of this all week. And Fifth once flag. again, he's it's doing it. Throw first. The pressure doesn't seem to be getting to him. Well, suddenly from a position of peril, Victor Tingstrom here, if he can reel up two legs in succession, will be over the line. He'll be into Saturday night and he 60. can enjoy a victory lap against Kieran Smith. He can have a nice little swing swim along the group tide. We've already got Andreas Harrison from Sweden in Champions 81. Week. It would be the second Champions Week in three that a Swede would go through if Tingsman can win this week. 45. Yeah, we spoke about nations coming through in the darting world and Sweden's 45. right up there, but they always have been with the likes of Magnus Karras, Dennis Nielsen. 58. Of course. Daniel, my dear friend, he's uh, been a great dart player for them in the last few years from sort of like WDF and through to the Nordic 40. PDC stuff. Johan Ekstrom, there's a few of them. Just keep going. And Tingstrom, part of the new crop coming through.
140 leaves Osborne first to finish against the darts. Remember, leg that if he wins, it will stop Tinkshun from winning the group at this particular juncture. 48. Colin, you require 136. Well, keep the conversation going. He's the only one with a ton topping shot today when he had two in his first game. 96. It's hardly done. Tingstrom will try and insert 96. a little more pressure. Colin, you require 40. He's on a two data. Is that pressure enough? We'll find out in these next few moments. It's double 10 for 3-2 in the break. Game break a coup by Osborne. Osborne. And it now means that Victor Tingshun can no longer win the group in this game. He could put himself in a very good Sick position. It's Colin to throw first. But now there is no mathematical Game certainties off. towards the situation. Osborne has the darts to ensure that all four players at the top of the group would all be level on points going into the final round of matches. And that somebody has to get on to 20 because Whitehead and Osborne face each other. There's a possibility that we could end up 100. with three players on 20 points. Somebody could be on 18 points in this group and it only be good enough for Group C. I know, it's mouth-watering, isn't it? It's making me think, thank goodness I wasn't in this group. 60. It's been a really, really competitive group. And we said at the start of the week there'll be nothing between them. Sixty. Thornton and Kieran Smith can still play the spoiler here in this last round of games as well. Fifty-seven. Sixty. One hundred and forty. One forty for Tigstrom. Effectively half the score. Yeah, and he needed to because Osborne had had a non trouble visit the visit before and fifty eight. To send us all the way, Osborne, not a happy camper. No, well, he got himself into a situation there where he was in command of the leg and... 71. Uh, and well, a troublous visit with two visits is now put him right in the mire and, and need him to hit this to win the match. It's proven to be too big an ask for him and... 24. I think there we go. I think his thoughts are all 73. come out in those three darts, I think. Well, this is to take us all the way. Osborne shakes his head. His tinction goes for tops. 33. But he can't take it. That's well, Osborne back for one free free. He hasn't had a ton plus checkout since game one. What a time it would be to come up with one here. To give us a four-way tie going into the last round. That's treble 19 then. Not to be. 93. Pressure applied. You require 40. Tingstrand on tops. To take us all the way. He's suddenly lost the lie there. Gates but he's recovered on the double 10. And we go the distance. 3-3. Free free and a huge leg incoming. Tingshon can move on to 20. If he wins Seven this one, final leg. Osborne Victor wins it. First. We'll Game have on. four 
on 18 points, hardly able to be prized apart. Osborne really wanted to get the job done then with the darts because Tingston has been good on his own darts. And once again, he uses the momentum and takes off with a double treble visit. 55. Now, Tingston wins this leg. Whitehead is out. And that is very much a live prospect now. And we should add into the equation that Tingshan does play Kieran Smith in the last game. 100. And it mean that Grunewald need to beat Thornton 4-0. And Tingshan then have to lose 4-0. 57. One hundred. Victory require one hundred and thirty. To put himself on the cusp. Didn't have to chase it. Forty-five. He's himself an eighty-five upon his return. Osborne will be bitterly disappointed. He was free to up. Felt as if he's in a good suit to take it all the way to the last round. One hundred and forty. One forty puts a bit of pressure Victory on. require eighty-five. What can Tingshan make of this eighty-five? Seventy eight left. Went for trouble eighteen. Forty. This would be some escapology act for Osborne if he can take out the one oh six. Trouble eighteen. Doesn't go. And Tingstrom is back for tops. Forty three. Victor you require forty. Takes his time. Oh, way, way, way down. Twenty. And that now opens up the door for Colin Osborne. Sixty-three for the match, and Tingstrom frails his arm in the air. He knows. So that could be a major mishap. Tops for Osborne. 43. And for once he's missed it. And he's missed it at the most crucial time. You require 20. Two tens. Game Victory for Victor. Victor which strong. may well make him victorious in Group A. Belkin Boy is almost there. Conan Whitehead is out of the equation. Cornet Groneveld needs to win 4-0 and hope for a 4-0 defeat in the last round of matches. So Whitehead's gone. Osborne's gone. Now it's just a two-horse race towards the line and Victor Tinstrom is galloping to the post like Tiger Roll on Grand National Day. A 4-3 win, an 83-97 average. Four from 11 on the doubles. We will dot the I's or cross the T's after this short break. We watch Connie Groneveld and Robert Thornton in action.
Well, each you join us back here at the live lounge of the Super Series. Four rounds have been played today of Group A, and here's how your table looks. Tingstrom with a big win in his last game, 4-3 over Osborne. Put Osborne out of the equation and Whitehead out of the equation, really. So it's only Corne Groneveld who comes up next, has a chance of topping Victor for the top of the table. But should Robert Thornton win one leg in this game, it would put Corne out of the equation and put Victor at the top and straight through to our Saturday night's final night. So it can all be concluded here in one leg. Or should Groneveld win 4-0, it goes on. And then Victor needs to win his last game. So it's all not done here with three to go. We knew it was going to be a tight group on Monday morning when we sat in and did our first envision. We said it could be a tight group and go down to the last group of matches, and that's exactly what it's done. We provided the first entertainment. Leg, it's Corne to throw first. Game on. And does Corne know that he needs a 4 0 win? All will soon be revealed. Right, it's a very unlikely. Proposition. 60. If you were to put a pound, it's 614 to one. The likelihood now. 17. Of Victor Tingstrom not winning the group. Groneveld is 14 to 1 to beat Thornton 4 0, and Kieran Smith is 40 to 1 to beat Victor Tingstrom 4 0, which combined together is 614 to 1. 60. 18 plus, be gambleaware.org. 65. And it could be an impossibility now because Thornton's hit a max. Yes, and stolen the march on the leg. 84. That could stop Robert, you require Groneveld getting through. And all his mates watching in middle harness. 100. We'll still be proud of what he's achieved this week in Group A because I'm sure that he never expected to still be in the mix with three games to go 100. to top the group. Robert, he came here to gain 64. experience. A massive experience he's gained and... Thornton now for tops. 24. Cornet, you require 140. Cornet on 140. Not to be this time. He'll want to put a ton in there and try and... 60. Robert, you require as much pressure on Thornton as he can. For this tops, we'll He's send Victor leg. Tingstrom Robert through. Thornton. The Swede is in to Saturday night. Cornet Grunewald is gone. Second leg, it's Robert to throw first. And he knows Game his up. fate is sealed. Sadly, Fawns is playing with a little bit of freedom here. Yeah, he really is, and I think he probably knows that that uh, Corner is under all sorts of pressure to try and beat him 4-0, and those are sometimes the easiest games to play. For, Thor for your opponent, for Thornton. He knows that he only wins a leg and he can be the spoiler and can't be those wily old players. We like enjoying being spoilers. We love it. 100. Well, for Thornton, it's going to be about tomorrow trying to preserve his perfect record of qualifying for Saturdays. 55. In the Super Series format, 10 appearances, 10 finals. Did fail 60. to qualify for the double start tournament, but they don't count towards our statistics because that was outside of the main competition. 138. But Thornton here has found something. I think he is channeling the aggression and the frustration of the last couple Robert of days perfectly here to put in a performance. He knows it's too late in terms of this group, but the confidence it will give him going into tomorrow in Group C will be massive. Yeah, he's, he's 
Wanted to lay down a little bit of a mark now for those that will be watching. The guys that are coming into this week now will all be Robert, you require paying 20. a little attention to what's going on today and yesterday. Same as I do when I come into the weeks at the end. So, uh, no score. Corner, you yeah, require it's, 36. Uh, a big marker to lay down for Thornton. Shot on a second leg. Corne Grunewald. But his corn egg's thrown now with freedom for the first time in the week. He's been right up there. Third leg. It's corn Pushing for the first. table topper. Game on. And now that that's gone away from him with that one leg, he... 96. Can probably play with most freedom that he's had all week. Just a reminder that we're going to be back 43. tomorrow afternoon from one o'clock for Group C, where we know Thornton and Smith are going to be there. And they're going to be joined by Mason Whitlock, Aaron Beanie and Owen Bowden. Group B, we'll see Corne Gruneveld. You'd sense and possibly Conan White, but we still yet to confirm it. But we know for sure Pete Burgoyne, David Wazuski, and Bradley Brooks. He won an ADC Open Series title just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, looking forward to seeing how my buddy Super Owen Bowden goes. My teammate at Dorset. First time he's done anything like this. So the Super Series continues to teach. 85. He's only a little fella as well, Owen. You won't miss him. He's not very tall. 60. Corner, you're very wide. 102. Or anything like me. So he's not a farmer? No, no, he's got a proper job. 70. Robert, you require 138. 1, for Thornton for the break of throw and 2 1. Not going to go on this occasion. So Gurveld, double 16. 60. Corner, you require 32. Double 7, double 9. We love this double double play. Game shot on a third. And Gurveld will 2 2 1. Grunewald. Yeah, the Bowden name you would have seen before because they used to be sponsors of Dom Taylor. Flag, it's and their their logo first. was on Dom Taylor's shirt here. Game on. I'm sure there's something in the Ofcom code that tells us about product placement, but we'll skirt over it. Well, I haven't sort of said the phone number or anything, have I? <laughs> what, from your popular fruit-based device? 60. Yeah, yeah. I thought that network had gone, Orange. <laughs> 57. <laughs> 100. This has been synonymous with Thornton's week, hasn't it? This really has. He's, one minute he looks like a world beater. 25. And the next minute it looks like the world's beating him. Just up and down like a fiddler's elbow he's been this week. 96. And it can be middle of legs. It'd be two scores on the trot. Just not sinking them in together, Robert. It's just not like him at all. 41. You get the sense that Thornton's probably in a place now where he just wants to get to tomorrow morning. 100. Fresh group, fresh impetus. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. 96. Corner, you require 145. This is for the break in for 3 1. Not going to go this time. Not there was an urgency to. He's got a couple of visits to. 81. Tayson, he is going to return for 64. Should at least get a dart at a double. 84. Corner, you require 64. 16 score it up. Double eight. Game Three one corner with flag. a break. Corner Grunewald. Like we said earlier, since he's lost that first leg, Corner is actually throwing with the freedom and. Game on. 
It's a little. He's already, he's already beaten. He's already beaten Robert twice this week, hasn't he? So the confidence was there. It was whether he could beat him by the number he needed 96. before we started. That was that was the thing in in Cornet's head, I believe. Is there a little bit of him in the back of his mind that's thinking now he's three one up? How and why did I lose that first leg? Forty five. I think the reason he lost that first leg, Robert, was absolutely amazing. That first leg, he at one eighties, he he strung scores together and. And Cornet was way, way back 100. by mid-leg. And it was just a case of Robert getting over the line. So not a lot he could have done about it. 123. Oh, Godavell now looking to round off the win. 96. Be two more games to go after this. Osborne v Whitehead would be a de facto shootout for Group B. And then Smith v. Tingstrom would just be another game of darts. And you know me, I like another game of darts. 125. Yeah, we all love another game of darts. Well, this could be another win for Groeneveld. 41. Corner you require be, To put him onto 20 points, and he'd feel desperately unlucky not to go through on this number. Double eight doesn't 76. go. We just hope that what he has done in this campaign will serve him with plenty of confidence going 59. into Group B on Corner Thursday and Friday eight. night, respectively. Ten wins is a very good showing on debut. Shot, it's not match, quite going to be Corner enough, Grunewald. but Corny Grunewald will see himself in a very good suit for Thursday and Friday, even if 20 points isn't enough to win Group A. It means that he is going to see himself into Group B on Thursday and Friday evening, respectively. And he does so with an 8 4 and a half average. He needed to win 4-0 to keep any hopes of qualification alive. Fulton took the first before Gronovet ran off four on the spin. Coming up after the break, Osborne v Whitehead. And this is pretty much a de facto shootout for Group B darts.
Welcome back to the Modus Super Series, where before the break, Corne Grunewald won 4-1 against Robert Thornton, denying him any hopes of winning the group because Thornton just needed the solitary leg to send Victor Tingshan through. So Victor is victorious as far as the group is concerned. This game is all about what's going to happen in terms of Group B darts on Thursday and Friday evening. Conan White Ted needs just a couple of legs in this game against Colin Osborne to secure that passage through to the evening session. A 4-0 or 4-1 win for Colin Osborne would see him play in the evening session at the expense of the former champ. I hope that's simple enough. First leg, it's Colin to throw first. Clear Game as mud, on. mate. Clear as mud. So Osborne gets us underway. The one thing Osborne will be thinking, at least in this need to win 4-1, he's got the dart, so it 81. reduces the amount of times he needs to break in the contest. Fifty-eight. Colin's score was eighty-one. Well, just a little bit of a glitch of the scoreboard there. Apologies about that. So, we're in the middle and the beginning of game 14 between Osborne and Whitehead. Just a little bit of a technical issue, which we're looking to resolve and looks yeah. like has been resolved. Well, the players are so experienced here that they know that these are the types of things that can occasionally happen. Conan Whitehead waves his hands in the air as to hallelujah. Sometimes the PC says no, Scott. 60. Or it could have been a Mario Balotelli. Why always me? But no, it's not always you, Co. I promise. Well, he lets out some fireworks every now and then, does Mario Balotelli. And Conan Whitehead lets out some fireworks on the hockey. Yeah, absolutely. Can't beat the old-fashioned chalkboards, you know. Can't 45. beat 45. I don't know too many places that still use them anymore. I mean, even we, we've, even, we've even got a little computerised affair on our Monday Night League. So nobody has to get chalk on their hands and affect their throw anymore. Well, not all Keith Deller, don't you know? I was going to say, Keith Deller doesn't mind chalking. He probably brings his own chalkboard, doesn't he? And chalks his own games, probably. So he's got enough on his fingers. 81. Apparently he breaks it into 138 pieces. Eighty-three, Conan. You require one hundred. So one twelve for Conan for the break. Double eight, following the treble twelve. Because it's quite close to the wire. Because he's got a big point. Just needs to double check with the referee as to where and what target that landed in. Ninety-six, Colin. You require one hundred and thirty-five. So, 135 for Osborne. Joe 20 leaves the ball. And this leg 17. would put Whitehead on the Only brink of B. 16. One away Eight from B. Whitehead leg. breaks. Couldn't and if he Whitehead. holds here, everything's settled. Second leg. It's Conan to throw first. <laughs> Game still, on. still having a good old giggle up there. Camaraderie between the players in the back room. I should think these two are leading it. 100. 100. Along with their old mate, Rob Thornton. 48. It's one of those rooms, if I was a newbie, I'd be going in and going, I can't believe I'm in here with Colin Osborne. Can't believe I'm in here with Rob Thornton. Is that Conan as well? Brilliant. Just brilliant for new people. Well, these two have kind of had to get used to each other because in each of 57. their last three appearances here at the Modus Super Series, including the double start week, 
they have been in the same week as one another. So they have had to get used to each 49. other's company in that time. It's plenty, night, plenty of time for getting to know each other after the groups as well. 81. Some downtime once the games are done here at sort of 2 o'clock, 2.30 or whatever it is. Some of the guys go off and grab a bite to eat together. And I know we did as a group one time when I was here on a group A. We all went out and had had something to eat together before we all went back. It's um, yeah, it's very different than anything else you ever play in. It's uh, forty six. Yeah, you mate one night and then the next day they're trying to rip your head off to make sure you don't get to the Saturday night final night. It's a strange scenario, but one we all want to be part of. One hundred and thirty five. It's the golden ticket. And this would be Whitehead's ticket through to tomorrow night. That is exactly what it is, Henry Wonka. 59. Conan, you require 51. Double 16. Double 8. Game shot Two nil Whitehead. And it Whitehead. will mean that the Barbarian is in B. It is C for Colin. Lag. It's Colin to throw first. Game on. So Whitehead now has confirmed his place. We now know all the scenarios in Group A. 94. Whitehead really... One hundred. Accelerating away here. In leg three. Maybe that's because Osborne knows his fate. Sixty. One hundred and forty. Well, that one forty means that Whitehead's taken the darts. Osborne's going to have to take out the one fifty-six. Another one of them would have left double eighteen. Whitehead one oh nine for three nil. The double break. One hundred and sixteen. Nicely tidied by Osborne. Short irons were good. Fifty-seven. Colin, you require 40. Tots for Cole. Game shot on the third leg. Found for Cole. Cole. Back to 2-1, but it's Co with the throw in leg four. Four flag. It's Conan to throw first. Game on. I tell you what, we've um, neglected the chat room for a little while. 135. Had a message from Ego Chip. Talking to best buddies, please get Tony O'Shea and Dowell Fitton on the same week in the same group. 85. Not a bad shout, actually. There you are. Really good buddies. 81. Both from that Stockport area. Good result for Stockport last night. Beating Colchester United, who are now on the cusp of relegation to the National League. 43. 100. I'm sure there's going to be one or two, well, there's only one or two Colchester fans. They'll be very disappointed about that outcome. 100. 
suppose it's not really a good season for Colchester because even their rivals Ipswich on the cusp of Premier League promotion. 56. Much to the delight of the likes of Kevin Painter and Keith Della. I don't know too much about non-league football. 125. I'm a Bournemouth fan. 129. Well, 129 for 3 1 to Whitehead. One hundred and five. Colin, you require one hundred and forty eight. One four eight doesn't go. So cut a white head. Double twelve for three one lead. One hundred. Colin, you require twenty four. And three one it is to Conan, Conan white head. Fifth leg. In case you're wondering why we were first. harping on about. Colchester United in the last leg. One of our referees, Owen Binks, is a supporter of them. Doesn't go every week, but occasionally turns up to watch them play. No, who'd go home and away? Who would go home and away and do that? 60. The only thing you know about home and away is Australian soaps, isn't it? Yeah, that's me, mate. Summer Bay. Got the figure for it, I have. Is that still on... Is that still on Channel 5? I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. I know about Neighbours. It's on freebie, that is. 60. Paul Robinson up to no good still? Yeah, yeah. It's been back now since last September. Not missed one yet. 100. Eighty-one, Colin, you require one hundred and sixty-one. Well, bit of an off leg here for Co, and so Osborne one six one for three two. Ninety-nine. Nicholas Sinkovitz up the tractor boys. Sixty. Colin, you require sixty-two. Yeah, that's the Ipswich Town. Fans, I believe. Double two. Don't know, they could 16. be a fan of yours, Scott, but Osborne won't be a fan of that finish because he's left himself on double one with White Ted not on an out. Yeah, well, he could be on the farmy army, me. Sixty. Colin, you require two. Well, double one with White Ted not on an out. Shot on and a fifth back leg. we go to 3-2 and Whitehead has the darts to win the match. Sick leg. It's Conan to throw first. Game on. Yeah, Conan was struggling to find a treble in the last leg. Not struggling so far this time. <laughs> I think Jack Garwood enjoyed that 180 call. I think Conan enjoyed that 180 as well. 58. Well, this would be some way to seal it, wouldn't it? But well, there's the fifth of them. He's done the girl in price. And that would have been some recovery with Dart 6. I think Colin's saying, what did you do that for, Co? It's good camaraderie. I love it. Yeah, it's great camaraderie on stage. It's also great camaraderie off stage here at the Super Series as well. Yeah, we're a Super Series in the family, by the sound of things. We we're all... Uh, Great bunch here. Good team that bring you the pictures. Work hard. Try and improve in all the time. 
59. Conan, you require 130. For the match, 136 for Whitehead. Doesn't go. He's doing more of the Conan Koki here. 46. Well, this to win the penultimate match of the day. 90 points for Whitehead. Separates himself from 100. victory. Conan, you require 90. And ball first. Treble 15. Top should be the play now. May go treble 19 for double 14. That was another play that could have been used on the 85. 38. Colin, you require 144. Osborne isn't going to take the 144, and so Whitehead returns to 52 for a 4 2 win. 112. Conan, you require 52. He's missed the big number, means he's only going to get one. And double 16. But he Great only shot. needed and one. Match, Conan and Whitehead. it is a win for Whitehead. He beats Colin Osborne by four legs to two. It means Whitehead will be in Group B. Osborne will be condemned to Group C and the pair have a good chuck about the match that they have seen. The conversation is still going. The conversation is still flowing. And I think it's going to flow long after the game has been completed. Conan Whitehead, he's a happy man, isn't he? He's won 4-2 against Colin Osborne. Next up, our final game of the session. Kieran Smith up against Victor Tingstrom. Well, here we go. It's our last game of Group A on here on Wednesday in the Super Series. If you just joined us, you missed Colin Osborne and Conan Whitehead. And Whitehead beating Osborne 4-2 to seal his fate. And 
Whitehead being going through to Group B and Osborne being consigned to Group C, which will be on at one o'clock tomorrow lunchtime. But our last game here sees Victor Tingstrom against Kieran Smith. And Victor, he managed to seal his fate first leg. in Group A throw first. for the last game round off. of games. So this is a kind of freebie for him. It's like a, a Group A winner's privilege to play the last game of the Group A. And he's playing Kieran Smith, who got his first win earlier today against Rob Thornton. 4-1, and he's been a different player since he got that win on the board, but he's now consigned to Group C as well, along with Colin Osborne. So, a bit of a freebie for both of them. But I'm sure competitive all 81. the same. And for Kieran, it's all about trying to get as much confidence as he can going into the Group C campaign tomorrow and Friday afternoon. 57. Victor, well... He can enjoy the sights of Portsmouth. So he'll be sat in his hotel 16. room doing nothing tomorrow. Did I hear some tumbleweed go through the commentary box then when you said the sights of Portsmouth? It's only yeah. the 88th time today the tumbleweed's gone past. 57. <laughs> yeah. They're doing up the HMS victory. I was watching it on the news channel last night. Oh, they're doing it all up. 60. Well, Smith leaves himself first to finish in this leg. 100. And you will hear from Victor following the completion of this contest. Smith looking to take out the opening leg of it, but he won't on this occasion. And so, 100. King Strong. Victory and still, it's an incredible trend that we haven't seen a ton plus finish since the first game of the day when Colin Osborne treated us to two of them. 59. Kieran, you require 60. Tops. Double ten just sagged below. Forty. And now Tingson's got a break chance. Yeah, good chance there for Smith to hold his first throw. Double seven coming in for Tingstrom, Shot and this is what he's been doing all week. But he looks in trouble. He seems to get himself out of it. Second leg, it's Victor to throw and once first. Once again, Kieran Game Smith. Off. He's left ruin a couple of darts at a double, thinking he may get back, and most of the week he hasn't. Everybody's been taking them out of him. Taking them out right behind him. Those 88s, 76s, even ton pluses. Just having a read of the conversation in the chat 40. room, and a lot of the chat is about the difference between the players at amateur level and the players that are now on the Pro Tour circuit. Now, you've been on both sides of the coin for a number of years, Scott. Where do you say the gap is in terms of where the top level is and where the next level is compared to maybe where it was not so long ago? I think the gap is increasing as, as the finances come into the top end of the game. It makes you, I mean, back 10, 15 years ago, you didn't have the amount of people practicing 85. during the week away from the board that you do now. People would pick the darts up even to a certain extent on, on the circuit events. You'd go from one week 45. to the next and... If you didn't get a practice between the week, you didn't do it. But now, you know, people are seeing it as a real career change. So so people are looking into darts to be in a career. And it's it is viable to do that now. So you're finding more of the the Cam Crabtree like players coming out of ninety school and going, do you know what? I'm gonna be a dart 100. player. And they're they're putting the hours in and they're and they're doing it. It is one of those sports that you can actually learn. And teach yourself with practice, practice, practice. So 42. the gap between what I would say is the amateur and, and the top end is is probably getting a little bit bigger. But but overall, 100. the top amateurs Victory can still live with sort of the lower pros, if that makes sense. So there's always going to be like an intertwine or an interchange with it. Game That's the way I feel about it anyway. Victor I think Tingstrom. if you're good at darts, it doesn't matter whether you're an amateur or a pro, you're good at it. It's how far you then take it is Third the gap leg. and the it's distance Kieran between it. First. If you don't want to take it further and put the practice in, then you won't take it any further. But if you put the hours in and you put the graft in, there is money there for you 26. to be had to make it a career. So fill your boots. That's what I say. Interesting insight from the former champion of the world, Scott Mitchell. Can I go from 
a world champion to a major champion tomorrow. Paul Nicholson will be in the chair. 140. For Group C, which will begin at 1 o'clock. And then Group B from 10. And what is a double dosage of darts. And then we'll do the, the same thing on Friday. And then we'll be back on Saturday night, half past 97. 7. On the Super Series YouTube channel. And don't forget, you can be a part of the audience. We'll tell you more about that in the next leg. 100. Because Tingstrom looks like he's going to get the double break and open up a 3 0 lead. Ninety. Victory require one hundred and thirty-six. One three six then. Another one of them. Double eight. One hundred and. And that would have been a ton top of the Tingstrom. One hundred and forty-eight. That's an awful potential thirteen data here, Victor. Victory requires sixteen. Can he just crash off the barrel, move too far across, double four. No score. Doesn't go. Kieran, you require In fact, he bursts the score, so Smith back for 92. Double, double. There was almost a nod of approval in the Check background 74. by Victor. Victor requires 16. Game shot on a third but a nod of the head Victor there will mean that Tingstrom's opened up a 3-0 lead. Well, four flag. It's Victor to throw first. Game on. Kieran's going to have work to do to get to Saturday, but Victor's going to be there. And you can be here on any given Saturday night here at the Modus 45. Super Series. Tickets are available via dartshot.tv and by scanning that QR code, which is on your screen now. So head over there. It takes you to dartshot.tv. Tickets available throughout the duration of 43. Series 7. I believe some tickets for Series 8 are now also available via that website. So if you fancy heading over to the live lounge, you're based in Portsmouth between now and the end of June. Tickets are on sale until then head over to that website where you've got more information on how you can be here. And also don't forget, we've got a charity influencer 96. event. On Sunday, the 28th of April here in Portsmouth, which is uh, a day where you can meet some celebrities and meet some darts players as well. As Tingshum looks set now to complete this match. Dartshot.tv, the place to be. 99. Victory require 136. And he missed a double eight four in the last leg, 96. but he's going to set himself up for tops after 12. Good performance to finish here for Victor Tingstrom, sending out a statement ahead of Saturday night. Yeah, it definitely 99. is. 99. Victory require 40. Double 10 Game for shot. Tingstrom. And Victor, Victor is victorious. Tingstrom was the man to topple in Group A. Belkin boy is the big boy and he is saturday night bound and he very much enjoyed it 91.09 the average four from 10 when it came to the finishing tingshum too strong four nil he wins that one and he wins the group as well 22 points to his name from Corny Groneveld and Conan Whitehead on 20. They'll be in Group B. Colin Osborne, Robert Thornton and Kieran Smith will be in Group C. But we are going to hear from the Group A victor, Victor Tingson. He's going to join myself and Scott in the studio in a couple of minutes' time.
It's a little family reunion here in the studio. Victor Teenstrom has joined himself and Scott Mitchell up here. Oh, look, darts friends. Right, Victor, many congratulations. Thank you. Winning Group A. Just describe today in your own words. Uh, tough. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, tight games. Uh, yeah, not much to say. It's uh, I know what uh, what I had to do to win it, and it was going to be tight. It wasn't a lot of my in my hands, but uh, yeah, I pulled through and uh, I did it twice in a row now. Talk to us about the middle portion of the day because we got to the final couple of rounds of matches. Everybody's on 18 points. Obviously, you then lost the game for it to be that scenario. What was that moment of the day like? Yeah, of course it is. Uh, it's tough. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't really think about it. Uh, I just needed. I, I just know that I needed to win. That's the mindset to, for all the uh, games today. That just win, 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 keep winning, try to win, and hope for the best. You know. The averages go out the window, don't they? They just go absolutely out the window. You're not looking at anything. Don't you don't care. mind whether you're winning with 75, 95, 105. It's all about getting those points. The last day is very difficult in Group A. doesn't matter what group you're in. Uh, mentally, it's very difficult, particularly if you're in that top bit. Absolutely. I, you don't care about the averages. You just want to win it, you know. And in this group as well, is everyone's tough. And uh, I don't really care if I had... 50 average or 100 average. I just wanted to, you know, get the win and, yeah, hopefully, uh, luckily I did. And I'm very, very happy about it. On the subject of winning games, you beat each of the other three that were in contention. It was those wins ultimately that did the job for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, my focus was here on, uh, uh, you know, of course it was uh, on uh, Conan and it was on uh, Cornet because I felt... Uh, those two really gave me really good games the entire three days, and coming into this last uh, last day, those were those two were my focus. And uh, yeah, I had a little, little bit of luck against both because I really I don't feel like they really played the way they did the Monday and Tuesday. And yeah, and calling the, the calling game and then getting uh, beat by Thornton first game, it it, uh, it mixed my mind up a little bit because. At the end of the day, I really just needed to win and I didn't really focus on the winning, but yeah, I got there in the end. So, Are you a player that's aware of the scenarios with the group as it's going up and down? Are you one yeah. of those that start counting the legs and seeing what it's all My, about? And yeah. what, if you do this and he does this and I do this, yeah. you can really you can mess your head up by doing My that. Eye, you? Yeah, my eyes were on that laptop in the practice room. I was watching that like a hawk today and I, I'm really proud that I watched it and still performed, you know, yeah. uh, that I saw that, okay, I need to do this now, and I did it after that. And uh, yeah, very, very good feeling. We've spoken a lot about your mentality and commentary this week and how strong it is. Just talk us through your mindset, particularly when it goes to, to big matches, which you came through a fair few today. I don't really have a lot of different mentality going into the big games. Uh, it's just that I, I, th I feel like I lay back a little bit on the game I knew no I can play and in those moments they always showed uh, my dogs always went in a treble my dogs were always sending double when I needed them to be and I could you know I can uh, how do you say I can trust my dogs when it comes to those moments and that was very good for me because that gave me confidence. You could see you trusted your darts. there's a few occasions this week that you've been 2 nil down and then gone back to your own throw when there's massive pressure on that because we're only first as four, so you're two nil down. You're going on your own throw, massive pressure on it, and you didn't seem to feel any pressure. You you then were that confident that you were going to hold your own throw. You kind of then bossed the throw, got yourself back in the game, and I think that was the impressive bit for me this week. You were you were so confident even when you were behind. I I, I wouldn't say I were. Uh, confident in that way I just felt that when I was uh, behind I like my mind just went bang and then it was game time you know it's okay now I'm back and now I'm behind in I didn't really, in the game I didn't think of points or leg difference or anything I just thought I don't want to lose don't lose and then I was like switch on switch on and then just go so it was like wakey wakey when you went down exactly. two nil down it was like wakey yeah. wakey where are we come on let's get this together and yeah, it showed, mate. It showed, and that's why you topped the group, for sure. Yeah. Well, Victor, many congratulations. We'll have another little chat with you in just a second, but we just want to sum everything up as far as Group A 
is concerned. So these are the results from today's session. Victor with a lot of gold on his name. That's kind of the story of his week. So those are the results from today. And it leads to a table which looks very happy from his perspective. 22 points to his name. Corny Gwynneveld and Conan Whitehead both missing out on 20 points. Colin Osborne, 16 points. And that was only good enough for a Group C berth. That was how competitive a group it is. So that is how Group A finished. Let's have a look at the tournament bracket then for the rest of the week because we know Victor Tingstrom is going to enjoy a couple of days off. Groups B and C are now effective and in motion. Conan Whitehead and Corny Grunewald are going to be joined by Pete Burgoyne, David Wazowski and Bradley Brooks in Group B. Whilst Group C is going to see Colin Osborne, Kieran Smith and Robert Thornton drop down and they're going to be joined by Mason Whitlock, Aaron Beanie and Owen Bone. Scott, you're not going to be with us for the rest of the week. So I just want to get your opinions on those groups B and C in your opinion. Well, I'm looking at that group B and thinking, you know, I wouldn't want to have been in that. Looking at who's coming in, Pete Burgoyne, David and Bradley Brooks, they're, they're all on a bit of form at the minute. That is going to be some group to watch in the evenings and I shall be trying to get them a look at those. And group C, I mean, you're looking at that now and Thornton and Osborne going into that group. Uh, they would look to be the favourites to come out of it for me. But we've got some new faces in there. And like when Victor turned up for the first time, we didn't know what we were going to get from them. And they turned up. And so there's some new faces there that could be doing exactly what Victor's done here in Group A. So what's the plan between now and Saturday then, Victor? Sleep. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> yeah, I was at uh, Gothenburg and played some PDC Nordic tournaments from uh, Thursday to Saturday then flying over here and then playing three more days. So, yeah, I'm going to take all the rest I can get right now and hopefully be ready for Saturday. Well, Scott, you've seen him play. Just finally your thoughts on him overall as a player. I think he's... <laughs> <laughs> I think he's, he, he's, a, he's a very complete player. He's, he knows exactly what he wants to get from it. And as we said earlier, that the higher standard you play, the better you get. And as this guy goes up through the ranks, we're going to see a lot more of him because he's got all the credentials that you need to do what you need to do. Importantly, Oscar, we're going to... Sorry, Victor. Oh, I'm Oscar, so sorry. Oh, no, no, he's not I'm here so now. I'm so sorry. He's not here now. <laughs> Victor, many, many congratulations. Thank we'll you see so you much, on Saturday. Scott, we'll see you again soon here at the Super Series. And we'll see you again tomorrow from 1pm on the Super Series YouTube channel for the beginning of Group C, where we are going to see a very familiar name in action. Bye from us. Keep it quiet, I'm trying to play. I'm just practicing. <laughs>